Hi, everyone. Hey. Welcome to a, a podcast with we'll this relationship. I'm Josh, he, him. I'm Sarah Shear. And on today's episode of the podcast, we talked about why there wasn't a podcast. We get spicy. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. Wait, is that non GMO? Not sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that non GMO? <laughs> Not sponsored. This thing fucking sucks. I hate spicy food. Uh, so we just, read Star, Star Kid's Prophecy. And every time we made a mistake, we had to do we some had to do sriracha. A sriracha. Yeah, with tortillas. With tortilla. <laughs> And uh, yeah, then we did Reddit stories yeah. about uh, just a lot of crazy ones. A lot of fucking they were crazy all from ones. Last week, so there's some from <laughs> April Fools. And so the, definitely some of them are fake. But if you yeah. don't care about that, listen, you, you, yeah, you care fucking... about it being a good story. Yeah, and we had a fun time. This was a fun yeah, podcast. It was really fun. There are a lot of really chaotic moments. Yes. This episode. Yeah. So yeah, hope yeah. you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe at the Gosh Darn Bell if you're on YouTube and raise five star on Apple and Spotify. Hit that Gosh Darn Bell. Hell yeah. Yeah. But yeah enjoy the show. Do it. See you there. Goodbye. Welcome to the Wednesday show. The show that always comes out on Wednesday. Always comes out on Wednesday. Always. Um, Do you want to maybe explain why? After um, we take shots of sriracha. Oh, you want to do the sriracha Tabasco real quick? Tabasco flavored sriracha. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, can that, you do it? Uh, can you yeah. can you pass me a tortilla? You're gonna do it on a tortilla. I a tortilla on tortilla. Yeah. I did that earlier as a snack, so I just wanted a Sarah supremacy. Is all I'm saying. Okay. Well, pour me up. Can't do spice, and that's why I I, I really should not have agreed to this. Okay, so we're, I gave you way too much. Thank you. Yeah, I put it right on my tongue. Yeah. God damn it. It's kind of delicious. Listen, it tastes good. It tastes good. Yeah. Um, so we've been that's our penance for not doing a show last week. Yeah, there you we're go. gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna flagellate ourselves the entire time. Yeah. If so, we fuck up reading stuff today, we're gonna take a yeah, little during thing the Sriracha. Star Kits. Yeah. Well yeah. that's later. That's later. Yeah. Uh so we did do a podcast last week. We wanted to have one week off just for mental health. Because I was going I uh, 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 I was my last week at my job that fucking sucked. Yeah. Sarah has quit yeah. her job. Yes. And she's moving to a hopefully better job. Yeah, hopefully better. Fingers crossed on that. It's going to be part time. So it's yeah. not as much time working, but it was customer service and it was just constantly people being the shittiest people possible. Yes. Which yeah. was amazing. Yeah, awesome. Because, you know? like, I worked in the hospitality before this, and I feel like people weren't as shitty. Yeah, somehow, yeah. Somehow people were someone, shitty And I've every worked time. in hospitality for, like, two and a half years, and I've never heard half the shit that you heard. Josh would come in, and I would be breaking down crying at my desk every morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was like... What do I and do? I would be like, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, and then Josh would be like, fucking suck it up, bitch. So I we're got breaking podcast up. Edit. I got podcast. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but yeah, no. So yeah. like it's yeah, like you're you've quit that job. Yes. Thankfully. But and it was just the last week was you know, like when you quit a bad job, the last week is the hardest week. Yeah, and like you know you like you don't want to be there and you already told them that you're gonna beat your end date, but you still have to work those days. Yeah. And it was Sucks. it just was crazy. They were switching up to a new system. And the last day they didn't have a system, so people were calling in and we couldn't help them. And yeah. just getting escalated. Our response was to transfer them over and over again, which creates a further escalated... Uh, no one knew what they were doing. There were only five people in the fucking call center. They wouldn't hire anyone else. And the people they did hire wouldn't Quit. make it through the yeah. entire <laughs> fucking training process, because it's a lot of training. Yeah, yeah. And it's a bad job. It's a bad. The yeah. job is bad. And they didn't even train you properly. Like, it was a month There's, long of training. There was a month long of training in person, full time. They changed my hours halfway yes, through my training. they did. Um, which was really cool and awesome. They told me I would get an hour long lunch break. And for like the first two or three months, you didn't have that? Well, yeah. So I, my training, I did have it. And then I realized that there were so little people in the office that they were taking everyone's hour long lunches away yeah and they were basically saying like you have to work 30 minute lunches because we're so short staffed so they lied to me <laughs> when i came in they said yeah we're totally gonna have hour lunches and for two months we i didn't and yeah. then i went to hour long lunches and it was like we're gonna get better once we have more people and then they never hired anyone they did well they tried well, they tried to but they never no one lasted past training right yeah because it was way too hard of a job for like eight 
seven, eight people and they only have one trainer and they're training on the job and it was crazy town. Yeah. It was like, you don't, <laughs> it was just like a complete mismanagement of people. Um, yeah, quit that job. And that was why we took last week off. Yeah. For you to get past that last <laughs> week of work. Yeah. And not have to worry about anything. And we were going to record Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. We were going to watch Camp Rock. And talk about we it. We literally put on Camp Rock and when, then, within five minutes of the beginning, the sequence where Demi Lovato was like, should I put my hair up in pigtails or like a side was, thing? Oh my God. Yeah. I, or whatever. Honestly, I'm happy with that we didn't watch this. And I she's in the it. kitchen and the mom from fucking Wizards of Waverly Place is like, let's turn on the TV. And they're like, a second plane is hit the... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, that happened. And then my friend texts me and goes, hey, we found a, ki- a stray kitten. Can you t- come pick it up and <laughs> take it home? And we were like, what the fuck? Wait, do we, we have to go over? Wait, are we going to have to take care of this kitten? <laughs> oh, no. Do we have them? another fucking cat? Which I didn't realize that was what was going to happen. Me I neither, thought... because they were going back and forth on if they wanted to keep it. Uh, or the, No, okay, hold on. Let's rephrase that. They were pretending to go back and forth. No, I think they actually They might have were. actually, yeah. But I know that they were, apparently they're allergic to cats. A fact we didn't know. I had no idea. I've known this, I've kind of known this guy for like five, six years. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's six years. It's crazy. I'm old. But yeah, and so he texted me and was like, do you fucking, do you, can you take in a kitten? Because he found a kitten sleeping in a car engine. Yeah. And like begging for food basically yeah and like apparently it was like past like a (laughs) day or two yeah yeah seeing him and uh he had a dog so they were worried they were worried about the dog and the cat and i also they were allergic so they wanted to take in the cat because the cat's fucking cute as shit yeah but they didn't know what to do with him yeah so we took him to see if we can get a vet for him yeah like they didn't have any cat equipment like no litter box or anything or any food or anything like that so they called us so we show up with the carrier and we're going to go take him to the vet and um, all the vets in Orlando are closed Both on Saturday and no one takes walk-ins except for the one that killed my cat. Yeah. <laughs> so we're not taking him fucking there. Yeah. Those people not. suck ass. Yeah. So we're not doing that. Uh, the cat is healthy. Yeah. Seems he pretty healthy. We're going to get him checked very up healthy, soon. Yeah. Unless he has some sort of crazy underlying <laughs> disease that needs treatment today yeah but we literally can't do that so yeah so you know he's fine though. he seems fine yeah he's playing he's pooping he's peeing yeah no diarrhea like no yeah. diarrhea healthy poops which is also crazy for a cat that was like stressed like a kitten that's stressed yeah like very stressed in the car when we got misty she had crazy diarrhea yeah she was real. pooping on my walls yeah that was hard to get out <laughs> that was fucking <laughs> yeah Jesus. But he's chilling. Yeah, he's chilling, yeah. And so that's why we didn't record Saturday. Yes. We were going to record yesterday, Sunday. And then uh, I messed up. I done did fucked up. Well, we, we were going to have, we had a brunch with my dad. At um Cowfish. Yeah, at City Walk Universal and uh, Orlando. Delicious, I recommend great. it. Highly recommend it. Hard to get in. Yeah, fucking the they most difficult. They have like a difficult. three-tiered system on how to fucking get yeah, in Yeah, you gotta go through the bouncer on the first floor and the bouncer on the third floor. <laughs> These uh, restaurants, though, they're like, we know we have the most delicious food, so we're going to make it fucking hard for you to come yeah, get exactly. it. Yeah, exactly, and it was it was a pain. Like, I think we had a reservation at 4, we got in at 4.30, because, like, yeah. it was just that packed. But, like, yeah, we had lunch. I feel like when, um, uh, like a tribe has to put food in a basket up in a tree to keep it away from bears, I feel like the bear, where I'm like, I want the ba- I, want <laughs> I want the food. The- yeah, and you Give gotta climb up this big I gotta ass climb tree. for my yeah. food. I don't want that. Yeah. <laughs> God. But yeah, so we had, it was a delicious meal, yeah. and then I, uh, uh, I didn't drink. <laughs> Josh is not a drinker. I don't drink. I saw, so I, there's, they have a bunch of crazy fucking little cocktails, right? Yeah. They were fucking weird, though. They were putting agave and fig and vodka together, which that one was actually fucking delicious. Yeah. Because the vodka tasted like nothing, which is dangerous. And it's also from St. Augustine. We're going to go get it. Hashtag local. Hashtag support local. <laughs> Hashtag support local <laughs> distilleries. Businesses, yeah. Um, and they also had this thing called Japanese whiskey. And I clocked it when I looked at the drink menu and I was like... It was a Japanese whiskey smash, is what it was. Yeah. And it was legitimately just the whiskey, lemon juice, and mint. That was it? 
all over an ice ball. And I was like, all right. We're doing this. That sounds that sounds good. And it was just like this thing that stuck in my head. I was like, that sounds good. And Whatever. I'm going to do realize. this thing first. And then uh, she, I drank that shit in like two seconds after she uh, gave me the first the yeah, the like, St. Augustine drink. Yeah. And, you know, I was like, ah, uh, you know what? Josh's dad is paying for it. I'll get the fucking Japanese whiskey. I don't even know the price tag on it. Yeah. So I order it and the waitress gives it to me like, here you go. <laughs> You know, it's interesting. <laughs> I've I was never, like, fucking okay, I've I don't had one think, drink. Fuck you. I don't think I've ever heard a waitress or waiter <laughs> be concerned. At the end of your meal be like, stay safe. Yeah, she was like, are like, you? be safe out there. I have because I've done this before for I, sure. But I've never seen that with you mm-hmm. at a place before. I think this is the first <sighs> time I've seen it. I must have done this because I do this a lot because I like dark liquor also. Yeah. Um, so I'll, and I don't really get drunk easily, like really, like when I drink dark liquor, it's like, you know, fucking like, you know, I've been drinking Cavarcier at home and I've not been getting super crunk on just that. Um, but like, yeah, I, I don't get super drunk all the time. I usually just drink beers or whatever. So I'll drink beer and then fucking bar, uh, bartenders will be like, you're fucking cut off. And I'm like, I had two beers. Can you <laughs> shut up? Can you fucking shut up? I'm not yeah. drunk yet. Um, but this lady was concerned. We and I definitely at- was drunk as soon as I started drinking that thing. Yeah. Because it was that thing where you start moving your head. And yeah. You're like, <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm fast <laughs> as fuck, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it, so- it tasted like straight up juice. Yeah. That whiskey. It was not hard. It wasn't like um, dark. It was Japanese whiskey, so it wasn't dark. It was very like light and very airy, kind of. Yeah. And so I drank the whole damn thing. And at the end of the thing, she goes, stay safe. Do you want some? Uh, I just hear it rustling, and it's oh, setting off my you. ASMR. ADHD? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sorry. Um, but yeah, she she was like, fucking, okay, are you okay? Stay safe. And I was like, fuck you, bitch. I'm fucking course I'm okay. And then two hours later. I'm still drunk. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Also, I want to check up, check on that Japanese whiskey and see, like, you know, if I can buy it, what is it? Yeah. And I was like, they have to, like, say what type of whiskey it is in the drink the menu, menu. Yeah. So I looked that up. It is only $30. Dangerous. And I look at the... <laughs> The percentage, because I'm like, how much alcohol was that? Because I feel like I'm still drunk, and it's like three or four hours later. 75%. Yeah. And that's why we didn't do a podcast. (laughs) (laughs) I was like laying down on the couch like, I gotta have a nap. What the fuck is going on? What is going on? How did I get that crunk off of two drinks? Yeah. And I look it up, and it's 75%, and I go, oh. Oopsies. (laughs) Oop. So happy Wednesday. <laughs> happy it's it's Wednesday. Monday. Happy Easter Monday. Happy. <laughs> the fuck does that mean? What is an I don't know. Easter Monday? It's when you go to the store and everything's fifty percent off. That's what it is. But yeah, no. So yeah. So that's why. So now we're recording on Monday. I'll edit tomorrow probably. Yeah. And then it'll be out Wednesday. So happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy Wednesday, everybody. That's yeah. our story. That's our story. That's we have why. A whole new cat. Oh, oh yeah, we have a whole new cat now. Yeah. yeah. And now we we have we we're we're trying to get them accustomed to the other cats in the house. And it's been going all right. It's been going all right, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. They're not fighting. They're, yeah, that's good, that's yeah. That's the most you can want. Honestly, yeah. Straight yeah. up, like... Yeah, it's been pretty nice. It's been pretty chill. He's a cute mm-hmm. little boy named Jack. Yeah, his name is Jack. Yeah. So we have a new member of the family. Yeah. And that's why... <laughs> new baby. So it's been a whirlwind of a weekend. I can't believe I carried him in my uterus for nine months. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah it's crazy. And he got no leave. That's fucked up. <laughs> I know. It. That's why I left. To be fair, I also did not give you leave, so I thought... Yeah, you yeah, didn't then, either, yeah. and that's really fucked up, too. Thank <laughs> <laughs> God. But yeah, so welcome back. Yep. We have a little treat for you guys in the form of the Sriracha Tabasco. <laughs> Every time I fuck up reading Starkit, I have to take a shot, a swig of Tabasco sauce. And I'm going to read the second <laughs> chapter of today's two-chapter... Yes. And I'm the same rules gonna same apply thing to me. For you. Uh 
I don't have anything else to say about the weekend, so I think I'm ready for this. I think I'm ready, I'm too. ready for this fucking bullshit. We were going to do another story about the lady that wrote the wolf story. But that was supposed to be for April Fool's. And I started reading it, and it was just different. It was just was not that bad. Okay, that's fair. I mean, it was still bad, but it was like, it was a different kind of thing. And I was like, I don't know how much I want to bully this one person. That's fair. That's, yeah, I, I, I agree with that, yeah. You know, I oh, was, yeah, like, was going to bully someone for April Fool's. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we were. We were yeah. going to do a scripted thing, right? Yeah, we were going to... Oh, God. I can't explain it, and I feel like if I wait a year, it's going to look really fucking petty. Yeah, let's not do it. Yeah, let's not do it. I'll, I'll tell the Discord what the... <laughs> we don't have to. It's a little secret. It gets to die off. Die with me. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. But okay, so... Okay, are you ready? Are you going to Are you gonna do the... Are you just going to squirt it in your mouth, or do you want the tortillas? No, I'm going to squirt it in my mouth. All right, well, that's all you... And then if it's too bad, I'll eat just, like, plain tortillas. Yeah, because I wasn't... I was... Uh, my throat is closing up already. Really? Yeah, it, it closed off from the... <laughs> it's clear. I mean, it's cleared out my throat. Yeah, because so if it closes up, you read. have to go to the doctor. It that means you feels, have an allergic reaction. I'm not, I'm not like... I can still breathe. I think what I mean is that, like, it's just hot. <laughs> Are it's you hot. having an allergic no, reaction No, I don't or think not? I'm allergic to anything, no. Okay. What's in it? Hot sauce. Ah. Uh, garlic. That's... <laughs> Well, you can't just fucking no, know, say that I your know. throat is closing up. Well, my my throat's open. It's open, but it's like, uh, yeah, there's nothing I'm allergic into in your ass. You're not allergic to shit. Yeah, I'm not allergic to anything. So yeah. <laughs> say that okay, you're I'm so, sorry. I'm you're sorry. You're so dramatic. Your throat is not closing up. <laughs> totally closing up. <laughs> but okay, yeah. So all right. So you're gonna read, and every time you, you make a mistake, I'm gonna I'm gonna sriracha myself. You gotta sriracha yourself. Okay. Wait, hold on. Wait, because this is a. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bread for spicy. Bread for spicy. Ooh. Okay. All right. What happened, what happened last time? Don't know. Okay. That's fair. Fuck it. This is just mandatory reading now. Who gives this a shit? This is like. Okay. Chapter 13 The Meeting with Star Clan. Oh my gosh, what happened? shrieked Starpaw. She looked around. Am I in Star Clan? She asks when she's say the cats that she knew. Is that going to count? So basically anytime you pause. No, anytime I'm like, I don't know what the fuck they're talking oh, okay. about. Yeah. All right. Keep track at home. That's a mm. one. That's a one for Sarah. Yep. No, of course not. You're in the dark forest. Gagged a gray he cat. Stargleam looked around wildly for Tiger Star, but she couldn't see him. Yes, you're in Star Clan, said the she cat. It was Yellow Fang. Where else would you be? You don't need to be so red, said Starglam. She was mad. She was red. She was red. That's how mad. Yeah. She was basically red. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Sorry, said Yellowfang, but that made me mad. It's okay, said Starglam. But I was in the dark forest, so how did I die? Tiger Star killed you, said Blue Star, coming over to her. You can send cats to Starglam, even from the dark forest. So wait, then I'm dead? Star Gleam. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Just so wait then I'm dead. Star Gleam. <laughs> no said, no Yeah, Star Gleam. Wait, it's hold on. Wait, show me. Show me. I gotta make sure. We gotta check the we gotta check the It's at the top. Yeah, Star Gleam. <laughs> Oh god, I just realized I don't know any of like yeah. uh fuck. What do I do now? I can't save the frost. Fuck. <laughs> it's forest. <laughs> it's spelled frost like the word frost, but it was forest. It's forest, okay. I'm gonna take so much fucking time reading this. Like straight up. I switched that around in my mouth and that was a big mistake. <laughs> Shit. Uh, rejected me. Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we realized yeah. that was the name of that Big one? mistake. Yeah. Big mistake. <laughs> rejected me, period. Big mistake. It's funny. Okay. <laughs> so wait, then I'm dead, Stargleam. What do I do now? I can't save the forest like this. That's why we're going to send you back to ThunderClan, said White Stripe. But we also have something very important to tell you first. Oh my god, what is it? laughed Starpaw. She started to jump up and down with joy. I want to know. 
Well, there are 10 things we need. 10 things? Well, there are 10 <laughs> things. That's a lot of things. That's a lot of things, yeah. There are 10 things we need to give you before you go. Said Starting Luke. at number 10. We got <laughs> <laughs> Your top ten things to give you before you go, starting at number ten. Yo, I love Gawker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> number seven will make you fuck your oh, dad. <laughs> this is chaotic. Yeah. I love this. That's why we're gonna send you back to Thunder Club. We have something very important to tell you first. Oh my god, what is it? Laugh Starpa as she started to jump up and down with joy. I want to know. Well, there are 10 things we need to give you before you go, said Leaf Pool, and she gave Stargleam two rocks with writing on them. They're the Ten Commandments. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god, the Ten Commandments. <laughs> Number one will shock you. I forgot this was about Jesus. Yeah, this is about Jesus, yeah. Okay. Starpaw 517. Oh my god, the Ten Commandments. When he gave me the Ten Commandments, <laughs> I shrieked. Holy shit. Oh my god, the Ten Commandments. And it's spelled common dense. <laughs> It's almost like condiments, almost like yeah. they're really like <laughs> like sriracha, sriracha, ketchup, <laughs> mayo, others. Oh, don't get me! I'm hungry. Oh my gosh, the Ten Commandments squealed Stargleam, and she was so excited. I get to have Ten Commandments. Yeah, <laughs> said Blue Star. We need to give them to the clans, but they won't listen. That's why we need you to do it for us. Okay, said Stargleam, and she left Star Clan, taking the rocks with her. Wow. That that's was that's bad. That's pretty bad. That's wow. Oh o only God. three times you had that take sriracha though. There's not, yeah. I'm gonna fucking was, pound the sriracha. I there think there was one um line that I said correctly. There was one line that I said correctly that uh is amazing that I yeah. said it correctly because it it was not right. Yeah, it wasn't right. Okay. <laughs> Let me see if I could show it to you. Hold on. Let me see. I'll read it incorrectly just to see uh, how bad it is. God, I have to decipher this. I've never yeah. fucking read this. So it's OMG, what is it? OMG, the, what is it? What is it? Logged Star Paul. She stinted to, <laughs> to. I'm so fucked. Jump up and down with Joe. Uh, up and down with Joe. But I started next to, to jump you. up and down with Joy. Joy. I want to know. Oh, fuck me. Uh, okay, so I gotta read 14 then, right? Yeah. The meeting with Star Clan. Okay, I'm wait, gonna, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, could you actually? Yeah, please. Because um, I'm gonna have to chapter fourteen, the Ten Commandments. There you go. All right, chapter fourteen, the Ten Commandments. You have to read it like uh, yeah, you have to translate. All right. <laughs> so can I read it incorrectly real quick? Because I really can't stress <laughs> enough. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Okay. With permission, everybody. Oh my God, it's actually listed out. That's oh, okay. This is. You have to read the Ten Commandments. Well, they're not the they're not the real Ten Commandments. No, but like the actual. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, okay. Uh huh. Uh, okay, chapter four ten the, the Ten Commandments. It's okay. They're misspelling it on purpose now. Yeah, this is for sure. I no, yeah, the whole thing is yeah. Star, wait, what? I don't know what Star Gal me is. Star Gleam. Oh, okay. All right, put it on a fucking tortilla. Hold on. So if, if I ask what the thing is before I say it, that's me messing up. Yeah, if you don't know. All right, put it for me. I don't want to. I, I don't want to just like take a little amount. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I get you. I feel like you know it'd be. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck that. Yeah, thank you. Just start prepping them. <laughs> just, just start prepping them. I just want some. <laughs> Shit, hold on. <laughs> this is just an excuse for me to eat a snack on the podcast. Well, good, great. And torture me, I, I presume. Mm -hmm. 
Stargleam came down into Thunder Clan's camp. It was dark. There were no cats outside. All cats gather, she said. This is so fucking hard. The cats gathered. I have ten commandments from Star Clam. Wait, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> fuck. Let's go. You know, it's not even the ones that are so misspelled, because like ten was was T B N. Yeah. It's just the ones that don't make ah. Uh, it's the ones that are spelled like words that get you. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. I have ten commandments from Star Clan, she said. The cat's <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That it doesn't count. Okay, good. Yeah, there's a 30 second cooldown, like Mario. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, The cats gasped. They started to murmur. Be quiet, Star Gleam said. Damn. They were quiet. All right. They were quiet. Is that what it was? (laughs) That's what it said. They were quiet. Can I say it correctly and then say what the misspelling were? Okay. Good. I want to know what the rules are. No, there's none. We're just gonna guess. I'm one paragraph in, and I've already like two thirds of the way to your number. Here, she said, pushing the rocks forward. Look at them. You must follow these commandments for your whole lives. If you, this is so hard. If you want to get into Star Clan, she said. They looked at the rock. <sighs> One, thou shalt not believe in other go ancestors. I don't what? even I don't even know what that one's supposed to be. It says go ancestors. <laughs> Does say go ancestors. So I said it right. I said yeah. Go ancestors. <laughs> Star gleam. All right, okay. That's one. Do you know what that one is? I guess Firestar was an exception. So far. <laughs> I guess Firestar was an exception. <laughs> Hamilton intensifies. One, incest isn't real. Don't believe in it. No one. So no one knows. Is it? No one knows. No. It, okay, you get a pass on that one. Okay, thank you. Oh my Because no God. one knows what that means. Okay. Two. Don't make any pictures of anything and worship them. If you do, I will punish you and your grandkids. Four. Don't say Star Clan in vain. Five. Work for six days and worship me on one. Six. Respect your mom and dad. Seven. <laughs> Don't kill others unless in battle. That's good. That's at least okay. there's, at least there's, so a, way there's a way there's out. There's a way to murder. Yeah. You can still murder because it's warrior cats. Don't eight. Don't be unfaithful. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> eight. Don't be unfaithful to your mate. Damn. Yeah. This is what you mean. I'll I'll pay the price in a second. Okay. Ten. Don't lie about your neighbors. 11, don't be jealous of your neighbors. And 12, no being gay. <laughs> Is that real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the 10 commandments, it goes up to 12. <laughs> it's really funny because number 11 is number 10 as well. So they double 10, 10, they 11. 10. So I had to switch it to make sure. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you could have said 10 and 10 because it's written as 10. I know. But yeah, I get it. Oh, Christ, hold on. <laughs> Fucking Sriracha, Jesus. <laughs> it tastes good, though, right? No, credit to credit to It is flavorful. I'll give it yeah. credit. But that is spicy. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yo, thank Christ for not doing this during the Reddit segment. I'd be fucked. I wish my brother, who makes um, hot sauce, I really like his hot sauce. Yeah. It was the Bad Luck, Bad bad Pepper Company. Bad Pepper, yeah, something. Fuck. Here, let me see my phone. Let me look it up. Yeah. We're going to shout him out. Yeah, let's shout him out real quick. He made really good peppers and we, uh, and we brought it with us. Yeah, but I wish I could buy it, like, shipping. But no, yeah, he does Because he lives follow. in, like, Houston. Yeah. Where I'd have to, like, go and... Let me find it real quick. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I think it's Bad Luck Pepper Company. Yeah, Bad Luck Pepper Company sounded right. Really good hot sauces, yeah. It's fucking amazing. Because then we could do it with that. Yeah, Bad Luck Pepper Co. And it's the little thing with the... um. So if you're in Houston and you want good um hot sauce, let's go hit up my brother. Yeah. Represent. It's fucking amazing. Gay, 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 gay. <laughs> Sorry, you just left the comments on. Yeah. Yeah, because 92 comments on no being gay. No being gay. 
Not allowed to be gay. My mouth is so fucking hot right now. Okay. The cats gasped. I'm sorry, said Daisy Paul. Is it Daisy Paul? Daisy Paul, probably. It's Daisy Paul. Fucking come on. It says Daisy. I guess That's I should know. That's the hardest know. part is the names. Uh, but yeah, you did fuck up, so I'm going to have to do another one. The cats gasped. I'm sorry, said Daisy Paul. I've been a sinner. I'll do better next time. All the cats agreed. Star Paul was happy. They were on the right path. If they followed Star Clan, they would never go wrong. But suddenly they saw something. It was Red Paw and Leg Paw kissing. Oh, shit! Fucking my mouth right there. My spit is just on fire. That's it. That's the end. Terrible. Suddenly she saw some sing, some sting. It was Reed Pa and Lake Paul kissing. At least she got kissing right. Yeah, kissing, yeah. Sometimes it's like um wonderful when she spells a word right. Yeah. It's like, whoa, you did it. You know, that's how I feel. That's fair. So how many was that? That was like what, four or five on my end? Yeah. But it, I get it because you haven't read it. This is for me. I'm just kidding. Just for funsies? Yeah. I How can you have fun? I, man, my mouth is on fire, actually. Oh, and, that's man, not, and I know, like, people put sriracha on everything, but, like, I'm a stupid fucking cracker, guys. Like, I don't, I, like, I've only just started seasoning things with salt and pepper, I think. With salt? That's not seasoning. <laughs> yeah, I know. With season all. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. How do you read that, too, by the way? That's, like, crazy. Yeah, I just translate it in my head. Man, I'm, pr I'm proud of you, Thank though. You. Like, yeah, that's, like, fucking... That's, like, I'm impressed. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to last a minute doing that. Yeah, that's been like that the entire time. <laughs> that's why I can't read it, like, the way it's written. It makes no sense if I read it out loud. Yeah, that's yeah. fair. Yeah. That's, that's hard to translate. Fuck. Yeah. That is hard. Rice, dude. All right, I'm gonna get some water. Do you want milk? No, I'm fine. I I don't think I need milk. Yeah, I'm just gonna get water. Yeah, okay. I'm chill. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to the ad break. Welcome. Hey, are you enjoying this podcast so far? I know I am. Then you better like, comment, subscribe, and hit the gosh darn bell if you're watching on YouTube and rate us five stars on Apple or Spotify podcast. You freaking better, dude. And if you want to support the podcast financially, there's a couple ways to do it. What are those ways? If you go over to buymecoffee.com forward slash APWSTR, mm -hmm. you can buy us coffees and we'll read whatever you have to say as long as it's not racist, homophobic. Or terrible. Or terrible. All right. So Riggs bought three coffees. Riggs. Hi, Riggs. Please, for the love of God, no more wolf stories. I listen on Apple Podcasts and have to skip halfway through episodes while I'm working to avoid them. Maybe you could at least write in the description when the user slash am I the asshole stories begin. Love y'all. Love you too, Riggs, we and love you thank too. you for thank your you for money. Copies. I guess we gotta stop the wolf stories now, everyone, for Riggs. <laughs> we gotta do it for Riggs, because he paid $9, so we have to change the I our, pod, our entire podcast. I, I want to stay for the record, I did, <laughs> I went back, so if you scroll all the way down, they should be, unless Apple Podcasts... And this would be stupid if Apple Podcasts do, does and this, but it, I wouldn't be surprised. You can DM us too, Riggs. Like, yeah, please if let you us know. Do not, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts and you do not see it in the description, DM us and we will make sure it's in the description for you. Yeah, because not only that too, there are probably one or two times where I just forgot forget to put in yeah. timestamps. Yeah. I know for Patreon, I don't usually do timestamps because they're different from the main ones, and I try to focus on the main ones first because more people yes. get to it. But... Uh, I checked, and for most of them, there is timestamps in the description. So you, there should they should be there. Yeah, um, and so like, definitely check that. Yeah, and it starts at zero. And I, I think uh, Spotify recently has it started has chapters. Yeah, and that's thank goodness <laughs> because yeah, yeah, it does make it easier. I think for people to yeah, I yeah. understand there's some people that just want Reddit stories oh, and yeah, they don't fair. want um the crazy crap that we do in the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but God I damn think, it, I love that crazy shit. I you know it's uh, we made it. You gotta you gotta eat your vegetables. Before you get to dessert, <laughs> Riggs. <laughs> no, it's just, I'm your you know, fucking dad. <laughs> I'm, I'm the creative. Your podcast dad. I'm the one that runs the show, you know? Yeah, I get I, to decide what I want to do. That's fair. That is fair. Yeah. Yeah. But I do want to make it easy for you to get to where you yeah. need. So, We're trying to make it as accessible as possible. So yeah, thank you for the it copies. It should be in there. We are going to still do Wolf Stories. Yeah, for sure. I'm and sorry. Until the day I die. 
thank you for your money. This is the the hell we've wrought upon ourselves. So mm-hmm. we're bringing you all with us. Yeah. Sean bought us three coffees. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Uh, just wanted to send something a little extra as a big thank you. After about a year of surgery and struggles, I moved into my new place this weekend, and I'm finally stable enough to send you guys a coffee as a thank you. You both have really helped me get through this year, and honestly, some days are the only way I get my dishes done. No. Uh, in fact, this weekend, I got COVID and had to move all my boxes up three flights of stairs by myself, but I did it thanks to hoarding your podcast and listening Aww. to about four of them back to back. You are a trooper. You are a trooper. I can barely edit one a week. <laughs> thank you. And <laughs> also for hauling boxes up. And hauling up. Stairs. Yeah. Fucking you go, man. Yeah. That's Shit. torture in some countries. Listening to us and the hauling <laughs> yeah. boxes up three flights of stairs. <laughs> we're actually number, we're in the top hundred of Iceland because we're used in their prisons. <laughs> in their prison system. And yeah. their Guantanamo Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you both seriously have helped me so much, but this coffee is mostly for Josh. Sorry to ruin the bit. No, that's fine. Please make more gaming content. I can't wait until your Twitch streams pop off. Thank you. Dude, that's amazing. I gotta am- get I on love the Twitch, that. man. I was thinking straight up sometimes once I get my mm-hmm. money situation figured out. Yeah. I think on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the time being while oh, you're yeah. at school, I might do an hour and a half stream yeah. while you're in there. That'd be cool as hell. It's not like that too, but I feel like now that I'm getting back into RimWorld, I can make longer series like for YouTube. Oh, fuck yeah. And like just kind of like chill out and do that yeah. so yeah fucking I, i'm getting back into a streaming nice oh, and also i found out a way because i know I, i'm trying to make fall guys work yeah i won't be able to do crowd control sadly boo yeah. but i'm gonna plug in my ps4 in here and put in the little <laughs> the card capture, capture thing yeah. yeah and see if that works that'd be awesome yeah so i can play regular fall guys at least you should I plug fucking... it into this tv yeah, so it's in the back. Oh my god! So you god. can just like turn around, like you can stream it, and you just have your back to the camera. Yeah, and <laughs> people play just... it in the background. <laughs> that would be really funny. Fake blindfold myself, you know, like <laughs> making like playing Fall Guys without even watching. Yeah, that would be really that'd funny. That would be really good. God, but thank you very much. I appreciate yeah. that. that. And thank you for thank complimenting you for Josh. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I like the bit, but also it, it feels nice to get a genuine Josh compliment. I'm, I'm going to go fucking insane if I get another <laughs> Sarah's fucking good. <laughs> Sarah's better than Josh in every way. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for the coffees, Thanks. everybody. Thanks, guys. And uh, if you want support on a monthly basis for only a dollar mm-hmm. a month, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash APWSTR. Mm-hmm. You'll usually get at least the audio episodes early. Uh, video takes a while to export, and we usually export. We our recording process is hectic sometimes, it as is. it was this weekend. Yes, sometimes a podcast will be go, go out like thirty six hours after recording, which yeah. is a very tight turnaround mm-hmm. for uh, editing, exporting, and all that stuff. But mm-hmm. uh, basically, uh, you'll get the audio version early, and then video version without the ads. There's exclusive content up there. We have the Matt Damon podcast. I'm working on that this week, finally. Yes, we are. And we're probably going to try and do a watch along for... Um, Goodwill Hunting. Goodwill Hunting, yeah. Definitely for Dogma, I think. Yeah, Dogma was going to be a good one. Because I want to do get to that just one. one episode on that one because of all the shit around it. We might test it out with Goodwill Hunting soon. Yeah, just to see as long as it works. Yeah. Yeah. And if anything, like I think that's also a good thing, too, because I might be able to make commentary tracks for that. Yeah, which would be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, fucking, um, we're gonna try that out. Yeah. Can we, um, record the Goodwill Hunting live stream and then upload it to Patreon as, like, a watch-along? Maybe. I think... Not the video, just the audio? Yes, probably. Okay. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about doing, yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, fucking, uh, and if anything, I might just make a highlight reel, put that on YouTube or something. Yeah, sweet. I know there's this other, there was a group of guys that, like, used to do that. I can't remember what their fucking names were. But they would, like, just make commentary tracks, put them up on, like, Bandcamp, and then just make highlight reels for YouTube. Are you talking about um, Riff Tracks, or...? Well, they, they do, yeah, Riff Tracks is one of them, but there was another group of guys, like, just, like, young film students. Mystery like, recently. Science Theater 3000? Not them, another, another... Another one? <laughs> yeah, okay. a bunch of people do it. And okay. I want, I'm gonna throw my hat into the ring. Why Listen, not? Listen, we've already stolen the Reddit segment from, you know, the podcast that did it first. <laughs> Whichever one that did it Whichever first. Whichever one that I was going to make fun of <laughs> yeah. during April Fool's. But, uh, yeah, fucking... Uh, <coughs> don't I what... just mean, like, no one freaking did it first. You know yeah, what I mean? No, I, I think that's it. a dumb idea. I know, but still. But, yeah, no, yeah. so we're going to try that out probably this week. So, yeah. probably that Wednesday that this goes out, so... May, yeah, maybe well, like depending today. Depending on how it goes, yeah. But later in the day, so go run. Run to get run your Patreon. parents' purse. Yeah. Steal money from your parents' purse. Get the wacky digits from the back of the... (laughs) 
But yeah, if you want to support the show, that's the best way to do it. Channel memberships are still available. They're yes. easier way to get your name on the thing on the end of podcasts. And whenever we do live streams, you get emotes as well. Yeah. They're fun emotes. Yeah. I actually had to contact the person to get a new cat emote for oh, Jack. Yeah, true. Yeah. Fuck. That'll be fun. Hell yeah. But yeah, fucking yeah. That's all the ways to support us. Uh, there's merch as well mm-hmm. um, down in the description. Uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the show. I think that's yeah. all. Okay, welcome to the Reddit segment. Today we both got five Reddit stories each. I do not have any listener stories. I'm letting them pile up and then I'll be able to go through them next week. But yeah, I, we picked out our Reddit stories last week. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're still going? Hell yeah. <laughs> for as long as you're going. Uh, okay, sweet. So yeah, and uh, yeah, we're going to start off. Sarah has a couple stories for us, and I got some stories as well. So yeah. How much was that? <laughs> There's a lot. I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I would have sped that up. Oh! Spicy. Yeah, I'll do it too, actually. Hold on. While you while you read this. No, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm weaker. I'm you can do some much. if you want. But I'm not going to do it while you read the whole story. But yeah, okay. Yeah, Tortilla will help you. I love that I haven't communicated at all what any of the rules are for any of the Sriracha parts. (laughs) I love that. I'm really keeping you on your toes. (laughs) (laughs) Even to my detriment. Yeah. (laughs) Whenever Josh is speaking, I'm going to. I'm just going to. I just haven't told you that. (laughs) And so you're just like, yeah, um, I'm doing normal. I'm just doing what we normally do. <laughs> we've shit we've done for like 50 episodes plus of reading just Reddit stories, and then I'm looking at you like I'm switching it up, Josh. I'm fucking going crazy, wild card, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck okay <laughs> you're, just, you're just like fucking I'm just like hell yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god okay that's the real intro it fucking it ups the quality, ups the though, quality bitch. yeah oh one day i'm just gonna turn to you and you're gonna have a fucking easel in front of you i just have a gun in my head <laughs> just, like, and you're just painting me nude for some fucking reason i'm like read and then the you just show story, it to Josh. me and then you show it to me and i have to like w- look at it and go and we still have all right am i the asshole oh. for fucking <laughs> yeah my dog's best friend dog fucking <laughs> <laughs> my dog's best friend dog yeah. oh all right <laughs> i just think it's funny to do a bunch of sriracha in your mouth and then be like am I the asshole I 24 female accidentally cheated on my boyfriend 26 (laughs) (laughs) oh Oh, no one else has this energy yeah best reddit podcast best reddit podcast ever holy shit okay let's go yeah, you, I'm, I'm putting my I'm foot down the fucking... I'm upping the goddamn ante on this podcast. Pushing the envelope. <sighs> you know oh, what's I'm funny? saying it. This is how I feel when I drink Cavarcier. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> I get warm. Fun fact, we actually got the Japanese whiskey on us right now, and uh, I, would I poured it get in it her right water. Now. It was like $33 <laughs> at the total wine. I'll get it. Okay, all right. So, okay, what was the title again? Sorry, for, for I. This is real. I, twenty four female, accidentally cheated on my boyfriend, twenty six male. <laughs> Jesus, Christ. it was an accident. It was an accident. Hold on, What's I the... fell on the penis. I fell on the penis. Okay, so this happened two days ago at my job. Immediately, I had to run to Reddit after it happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let it get mull over in your head a little bit. Just going back and forth for like forty eight hours. There was always this one guy who I thought was super hot. That we'll call him Daniel. This is not an accident anymore, is it? Twenty-five male. Was it ever? There was a guy that I wanted to suck his dick, <laughs> and then I ended up sucking his, his dick. dick. Um, and we were always pretty close friends, but I never tried to flirt or anything because I have a boyfriend. But these past few weeks, we've been getting super close with each other, and we decided to have lunch together. Daniel doesn't know I have a boyfriend, so he decided to admit that he has feelings for me and asked me to be his girlfriend. What? You never told Wait, him that you have a boyfriend? Yeah, hold on. That's weird. So I stood there for like four seconds because I really do have feelings for him. I said yes and immediately kissed him, and it felt great. 
but now I regret it because I love my other boyfriend. We can call him Zach. He's a great guy, but I like Daniel a lot too. So I couldn't help myself. I get it. <laughs> Sometimes you just can't help yourself. Can't help yourself. You gotta yeah. cheat. Zach doesn't even know about the kiss and Daniel doesn't know I originally had a boyfriend. What do I do now? This was all an accident and I'm super stressed now. Oh my God. I feel so bad for you. I just say no. I I, I mean, I don't, uh, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. That's, um, <clears throat> no, <laughs> just no, no. What the fuck? Okay. Nope to the rest of the story. Let me look at the the comments. I'm yeah. two days ago at my job. I I don't think you like Zach. I don't think you actually care. Accident is not the word for what happened, nor are your ambivalent feelings. It was an accident, though. It was my immediate reaction. <laughs> you didn't like take a moment to think. I just just okay. what, I. Break up with your old boyfriend. It doesn't really matter what you do. When Daniel finds out you have no honor or loyalty, he will be rethinking you or you will be jumping ship to the next guy. Yeah. I don't think I can break up with him. I still love him and I don't want to break his heart and have him hate me. This has to be fake. Wait, this has to be fake. So Probably. I don't know. And somebody goes, I don't know what dictionary you got your definition of accident from. And then, and then she goes, okay, but what if you were working with a guy that's super attractive <laughs> five out of seven days a week? Wouldn't you be kind of flirty too? No. I don't know. I feel, yeah, you got a fucking boyfriend at home that you never even told him about your boyfriend. But yeah, you never, that's, uh, that to me that's is still already, cheating. Like, that's a, yeah. That's like emotional cheating. And yeah. then you did actually just win and go cheat. Yeah. So yeah, you're an asshole. And I don't decided, know how else yeah, to describe it. Yeah, you literally it. just you cheated. Yeah. I, I yeah, I feel like you gotta like, you got okay. And yeah. meeting someone new at your workplace, you got two weeks tops mm -hmm. to say that you have a partner. I think one week top <laughs> at uh, all at for anyone. I think at any time you gotta say it. You gotta say it. You gotta bring it so, up somehow. Okay, so I go to my new job. By week two, I have to tell everyone about you. Okay, it's a little too strict. You're right. It has to come. You ha if the, I feel some, okay, like, I feel like if you're six months into your job, this is this is where I am. Okay, if I'm working and so you're okay. Okay, I'm working. You're working. working yeah. You're new. Yeah, and your female coworker is like, I no stop. Yeah, I would be stop. <laughs> yeah, you'd be like, I have a girlfriend. Yes, yeah, I would be. I was otherwise, it's fucking cheating. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I think, <laughs> but like, because I feel like you should be able to go to work and not speak to someone. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and it's not cheating if they're just like the opposite gender or something, yeah, think, or the same gender, whatever. You I know? Know, yeah, I think you just yeah, just don't be flirty while you have a fucking partner. I don't know. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> Pretty obvious. You can be nice to someone. Yeah, you know. Actually, I gotta be. I gotta be real with you guys. A little secret about me. I don't think people of the opposite gender can be friends. <laughs> I think it's always cheating. If you're yeah, there. you've never been like, <laughs> if I have a male coworker, I have to be like, hey, I I'm the person that's like, I have a boyfriend. My boyfriend's over there. I love my boyfriend. I'm that person. Yeah. But I, you've never been like, why isn't that guy, why are you hanging out with your male coworker? Yeah. Every time you, you went to d and D, I I was like, why are there so many what guys the there? Fuck? Just don't cheat, man. Just don't fucking cheat. <laughs> yeah. Just don't Just, don't do that. Yeah, you know it's wrong. I feel like yeah, everyone I mean, knows that it's wrong. Yeah, this weird like, well, what's actually cheating? The oh, it's like no, you know what's wrong and what's not. Let's not let's shut the hey fuck guys, up. Hey guys, Vsauce here. What's what is cheating? cheating? Boom, and boom. what's not cheating? I don't think yeah, I don't think we need like a YouTube like, explainer video. Yeah, no, I think we all fucking know. Yeah. Actually, I'm tired of pretending like we don't. Yeah, what is cheating? If you go up and you kiss a guy, and someone is like, "That's cheating," and you're like, "No, my boyfriend doesn't think it's cheating. It's not cheating for you." Yeah, it's depending on the situation, but you hid inform you lied you by hid omission. Information you didn't, you haven't told you 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 just want to suck this guy's dick. Just That's it. D then break up with your boyfriend and, and you suck have his the dick. audacity to feel guilty about it. Um, Ah, boo hoo. Go and be a monster then. Go, yeah, just just God. just be like, I want two, I want these two dicks, and I I can't only have one. I so I lie and cheat and steal, and I get two dicks.
I'd, I'd have more respect for you if you just said that. Yeah. Yeah, don't like pretend you have some try moral to get, like, compass. Weird, like empathy. Yeah. Fucking strange. God, weird. I don't know. Solved it. We did. We did Asshole. solve it. We yeah. really solved it a lot. It's solved now. Solved now. Yeah. It's solved. We solved it. It's done. Solved it. God, what an asshole. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay. This was also apparently, I think all of mine were on Am I the Devil? Oh, so, really? Yeah. But I also picked yours a day after yours was picked. So Okay. Hopefully it's not the same. Yeah. I think I, I, think I asked you. Yeah. I, I think so too. I don't know. All right. Am I the asshole for using my dishwasher as a storage space and still expecting my partner to do dishes? This is complicated, so let's get into it. Let's just jump into it. Let's just jump into it. Long story short, I'm a little neurotic and don't think dishwashers are good for dishes. I also don't trust my partner to not put any of my nice kitchen stuff in the dishwasher that should be hand washed while I'm gone. My partner said, well, before we moved in together, that in our house, he wants to be able to use the dishwasher. Otherwise, he won't do any dishes. Okay. (laughs) Both of you are weird. Yeah. (laughs) So we move in together and I end up using the dishwasher to store shaker bottles and plastic items. And for the past several months have been washing all of the dish, his dishes by hand. I'm so tired of it, though, and believe he can wash a few dishes every now and then to help me out. He points out that he already told me if he can't use the dishwasher, he's not doing any dishes, but washing a dish by hand doesn't take long. I'm getting frustrated, and I'm not sure who is in the wrong. I don't know, actually, because I've also been with... I have had a, a roommate who also did not believe in the dishwasher because uh, she did not grow up with a dishwasher. She mm. did, but it was like... I, you know, I think it's more of like a um, maybe an immigrant experience or like a minority experience to not do the dishwasher because it takes too much electricity. Mm. So they use it as just like storage space. Because I actually saw like um, a, uh, a serialized TV show of like uh, these little uh, Asian boys and they went over to their like white friend's house and then they came home they were like they used the dishwasher it washes dishes <laughs> and then the other one's like no that's a storage unit you're <laughs> ridiculous that's a drying rack it's okay. not for washing dishes dumbass <laughs> and I didn't know that was a thing because I'm white you're white yeah I didn't know that okay interesting but yeah it's like an actual thing where people don't think that it's efficient to wash dishes in that it, for the money that you get. Mm. They'd rather just wash it by hand. Okay. Or that it doesn't get clean or, or something. <sighs> so that was a point of contention with my roommate was she did not want to use the dishwasher. A, the dishwasher wasn't clean when we moved in because we, sh- we lived in a shitty ass place. So I had to sit and clean the entire dishwasher before I could use it. But we came to an agreement at, pretty much. It wasn't communication with her was not the great the greatest but came to an agreement where we were both like okay i'm gonna use the dishwasher for me and she's gonna wash her dishes yeah okay um and i'm still not great at putting dishes in the dishwasher because i'm lazy (laughs) but um yeah and so that was our agreement for that which i feel like is a pretty easy agreement i feel like she's being kind of overreaching by just using it as a storage space yeah and that's kind of where i kind of drop off because i know a lot of people okay but he could be a little you know be like i'll wash one dish or two yeah and i will say uh so okay like it's reasonable to want your partner to do dishes as well yeah it's unreasonable to have them do it exactly the way that you want them to do it yeah that is yeah that's I where i yeah yeah so okay dishwashers yeah I'm gonna, here's my uh, white man coming in. Here. <laughs> well, you. I also feel like when I was raised, with, I don't use the dishwasher correctly, I feel like. So, okay, this is where a lot of people... This is a problem with dishwashers. Yeah. All right, I've watched YouTube videos on this, okay? I believe you. By the same guy that told me... About the elevators? About the elevators. Yeah! All right. So this guy's okay. for real. This guy's right. for fucking real, all right? for real. Strap yourself in, everybody. <laughs> Josh's ADHD is about to shine, all oh, right? fuck yeah, this is a hyper Okay, so fucking, uh, so dishwashers, I can understand why people don't like them. Yeah. Because dishwashers uh, fucking suck. Yeah. Uh, because they don't come with 
like manuals to read, <laughs> especially if you come in, if you go to an apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, and also like the the dishwashing fucking the dishwasher detergent companies. They're out. They're out for your fucking money. All right. Yeah, it's very expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So especially now that everybody's doing these fucking pod things. Yeah, the pods are fucking bullshit, bro. I remember when you could just have the gel in yeah. the thing and it would work, and now well, they before, don't make that shit gel, work. There yeah, was just there powder. was powder. Yeah, and that and powder would work. is all you need, by the way. Literally, and I was raised with the gel shit. Yeah, and then we moved to pods, but now it's like all pods. Yeah, it's ridiculous because they want you to spend more money. And I'm just like, that's that's like wasteful. I feel yes, like it is. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So okay, okay. So sorry. Go ahead. I've seen videos. There's like uh, there's a I think his name is Internet Shaquille is what his name is. No, and he talks about and he talks about hand washing dishes. Mm hmm. And fine, whatever. Some dishes it, need to be hand washed. I bet That's it's fine. more efficient, like energy wise, energy saving. Water and energy save. Well, not water saving. Not water saving. Water but energy. It will use a lot of water, and I think it it kind of neglects the energy savings that you kind of get too, just oh. because of how much water like you waste with hand, hand washing. washing. Yeah. Oh wow. Because like think about it, like you're leaving the faucet on for like five Unless you ten stop minutes. It started. That's true. Yeah. But who's, who's, I'm not doing that. I'm doing that. Okay, well, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, okay, so like, well, it's just more efficient to uh -huh. use the dishwasher. Okay. okay. For, on per, per dish, like, it's recommended to use the dishwasher. So with pods, they just put in too much detergent. Really? Yeah, because they're not using the preload. Oh. So a dishwasher works in two cycles, a pre-wash and a wash. Yeah. The pre-wash is the most important one. Okay. And that's the one that you fill in and it just spills into the fucking thing, right? Yeah. 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 And that gets most of the shit off. And then the wash cycle gets the rest of it. So with the... Right. So with, with pods, the pods, you just put one in in the post-wash. The thing that has to pop open. And you're basically open. just rinsing it with water and then putting soap in the second one. So the way... So what dishwashing companies have done is they put too much into the pod. And by the way, the colors of the things, by the way, don't matter. No, no yeah. they don't fucking matter. They're I just mean, either, you know. I don't know. I guess I just assume because yeah. I was raised skeptical. Yeah. So. so basically, it's just powder, but with water added to it and an alcohol membrane, I think, that dissolves. So they have to put too much into the main wash cycle because there's nothing in the pre-wash cycle. So they have to be wasteful. And that's why it's better for gel and uh, powder, powder users yeah. because you can actually put stuff in the main one. Because if you put two packs... So what if you just throw a pod in the main one, though? I think it doesn't work as well still. You, really? you kind of need to have both cycles, I think. From well, my what understanding. What if you do both? It's just way too much. You're just wasting it, yeah. yeah. There is such okay. thing I think is too much powder. I think it kind of leaves a residue Yeah, yeah at some yeah. point. yeah. But yeah, so... I understand why there's skepticism towards, and I think it's it's now become a culture thing. Yes, because yeah. you know, I mean, l the history of like appliances. Well, let me get on to my hyperfixation of white supremacy. <laughs> yeah, and American culture, how it goes hand in hand. Um, you know, w white American culture, big house, white picket fence, two point five kids and a dog. Yeah, moving to Florida to be next to Disney. Get on the highway. Highway's built to go to Disney, and we're building the houses on marshland, unlimited marshland on a peninsula, so that white people can have this stupid dream yeah. for maybe ten years. Um, we're gonna do that, yeah. and we're GE. I'm gonna make a bunch of stupid fucking appliances, <laughs> yeah, to sell to white women, including a dishwasher. And, of course, that only starts out going to the richest white woman in town and trickles down to other women who scrimp and save to buy a dishwasher. Yeah. And and then eventually becomes commonplace, like, you know, a vacuum or a toaster or yeah. something like that. And, you know, if you are someone who is poor, who grew up poor, maybe even from a different country who does not have this same culture, mm -hmm. and you show up and you buy an apartment or you rent an apartment and it has all this stuff, you're going to be skeptical of it because that's not how you cleaned. Yeah, that's fair. You know? Yeah. It's like, I just used a fucking mop. 
I don't need a Swiffer wet jet. That is true, yeah. You know? Yeah, there is a weird, like, commodifying of being clean. I get that, yeah. yeah. And so I completely understand that. And I think it's not necessarily wrong. I think you're still getting your dishes clean. Yeah. But, I mean, it's just two different backgrounds. Yeah. You know? I will say, though, yeah, I don't know why there can't be both. Yeah. 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 That's it. I don't know. That's, yeah, I agree. Is it because you think the dishes aren't clean? Like, because it, then it's, you're going to have two separate sets of dishes. Like, if you yeah. don't trust, the the biggest problem I was like, was like, you don't trust your husband in the second one. Yeah. I don't trust my husband to put, not put my good dishes in the dishwasher. Yeah. You need to trust your husband. And listen, like, there's some dishes that you can't put in the dishwasher. Yeah. I get it. Fine. Even still, which is, yeah, that's like, uh, yeah, my nice dishes don't go in the dishwasher. It'll but, fucking fuck them up. You know, that plastic cup you get from Walmart, I think you can probably get away with. But if she doesn't want to put her plastic cup in the dishwasher, she should be allowed to not do that. That's fair. Yeah. You know? But yeah, it definitely does lead to just two sets of dishes then. Which is fine. Yeah. Maybe if that's the way that you solve that, you just, you have to so trust in your husband. Yeah. To be able to do his own damn dishes. And maybe you have to give up your storage. Yeah. Yeah. But also like, you could also just get a dish rack. With a top. drying rack. Yeah, yeah. A drying rack. Yeah. And just do it that way. Yeah. Because I know, uh, yeah, I think uh, Internet Shaquille said you can just hand wash dishes and then use the dishwasher rack to dry them so you don't yeah. have to buy a dish rack. So I get why that's there. You know what I mean? I get yeah. like storage. And maybe you can do that and yeah. then prioritize putting it away. Yeah, true. So that he can still do dishes Actually, sometimes. Actually, my dishwasher is the cabinet. Because <laughs> it's weird because I also grew up not drying my dishes. Like drying oh, it like really? with a paper maybe. But just straight up, we would just not dry them and put them in the That's fucking That's crazy to cabinet. me. That's crazy to me, honestly. <laughs> That's fucking... But here in Florida, there's a bigger deal about mold. So yeah, because we're that's... surrounded by humidity. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, in Georgia too, so I don't know why we did that, yeah. but we just, yeah, fucking... We were gross growing up. I did not have good cleaning techniques taught to and me. And my mom has OCD. <laughs> yeah, so I learn everything from you, basically. Yeah. yeah. So we learn. We learn together. We learn. We live and we learn. Solved it. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Am I the asshole for singing at my friend's wedding? Buckle the fuck up. Especially if you were paid for it. Yeah. I want you to guess what song it is because Uh, I do know the song at the end of it. Chug Jug. Chug Jug? Yeah. Oh. We got a number one victory royale. (laughs) Yeah. Fortnite. We bad to get down. uh, It's Creeper All Man. It's a. I wish it was that. It's not. Dude. You have to guess the song by the end of the comments. Just, okay, uh, by the end of the comments? By the end of the, the post. Um, fuck. Um, Mr. <laughs> Brightside. Don't start now. I gotta read uh, okay. the post. All right, sorry, okay. Mull on it secretly. Okay, all right. Okay, am I the asshole for singing at my friend's wedding? I, 24 female, was a bridesmaid in my friend's 25 female's wedding last week. The wedding itself was all right, but it was the reception itself that I was excited for. I had planned on surprising my friend with a song dedicated to her and her new life. I have been singing since I was seven, have been in choirs, performed, etc. My friend has always said that she loved hearing me sing, so I thought it would be a nice treat for her. She already knew that I was going to be making a speech at the reception, so this was all planned and not some last minute dish. At the maid of, after the maid of honor and the best man gave their speeches, it was my turn. I got up to the mic, quickly made some small talk, thanking everyone for coming, telling the bride and groom how beautiful this whole thing was, and I was grateful for the next chapter in her life. I then said that I could say a lot more, but I would rather sing it. Oh. Oh, no. I then sig- signaled for the DJ to hit it. <laughs> I sang my song. My life's a movie. <laughs> Sang my song, and after I was done, made a toast and went back to my seat. Not too long after that, my friend slash the bride came up to me and pulled me aside. She was really angry with me and had said that my singing had embarrassed her and had even said that it ruined her wedding. Wow, really? She also what called the fuck me. Could you have sung? She also called me. This is a big hint. She also called me an attention-seeking whore. Whoa! Because of my performance. I was upset and also angry because I felt like I had just put an effort planning the song for her and just the way she was talking to me was also upsetting. I told her she was acting like a bridezilla. She had a shitty attitude about a performance that I put on for her. 
There were no backup dancers, no theatrics, nothing crazy, just me and some music that definitely lasted under five minutes. Another clue. What the fuck could it have been? I left the reception early because I was fed up. It's been a week since and I still have not talked to my friend. I know that she's still upset about her fight and maybe she was just stressed out with the whole wedding and making (laughs) sure everything was okay. But I still don't feel like that is an excuse to talk to me the way she did after I put my heart and soul into a performance for her. So am I the asshole? Was it like wet ass pussy or something? (laughs) That would be amazing. No. Uh, Edit, I am a trained singer and have been singing for a long time. So no, this wasn't just shitty karaoke. Why are you singing the song? Why? why? They didn't put it in the post? No, but they put it in the comments. What the fuck did you sing? I can't. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sing it a little bit. Okay. What a beautiful wedding. What a beautiful wedding. But I don't know that way. What? What's the name of it? Okay, let me go to the comments because I forgot. I rate sins, not tragedies. Panic at the disco. What? That's the one where he goes and the, <laughs> he doesn't know that the groom's bride is a whore. Because in the first couple of lines, it's like he found the bride getting like fucked by the bride by the best groom or something because it's like an edgy teen song why would you (laughs) say that (laughs) you fucking pop punk posing fucking idiot (laughs) i bet it's not true (laughs) i don't think anyone would do that that can't be real it can't be real but i love it i love it oh my god (sighs) that's crazy if that's real gotta be rage bait because who in the right man would sing that about their friend being a whore at her wedding yeah, yeah. oh my god I that's hope. crazy <laughs> when original op left someone asked if she's heard of closing the goddamn door <laughs> just part of it god damn it you never heard that song no i've never heard that song can i play it a little bit no i i yeah okay you can play it but i but can't put can, it in the podcast yeah you gotta yeah. cut it out We're, i'm gonna play it for josh and then we'll come back oh wait no that was the tiktok song I guess. That was on TikTok. I remember it now. Wait. Um, I write sins, not true. Bro, uh, you know what? Fuck fuck okay, you for giving you Brendan Yuri more money. Yeah, okay, yeah, I know yeah. the song. Yeah. I chime in with the haven't you people ever heard of Yeah, closing I've heard the, the song. goddamn door now. That's why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you fucking do that? Why would you do that and be like, I put that on for you. That's yeah, my favorite you're part. You're being a bridezilla about you're this. You're being a real bridezilla about wow. this. Wow. You idiot. <laughs> Yo, you know what? This is a, okay, this is a problem I have yeah. in general. Yeah. And I've had this problem before. People just don't listen to lyrics. No. Or understand lyrics of songs. I just, I, yeah. Not, and I'm not saying everyone. No, of course not, but... If this is real, this person just went, wedding. Yeah, wedding. Wedding song. My favorite song, wedding song. Yeah, the word wedding is in the song, yeah. And yeah, that's what they thought. God, dude. (laughs) It's not real, though. It can't be real. It's not real. It can't be real. I don't think it's real. Oh, yeah. Oh, I forgot. These were all supposed to be April Fool's. (laughs) Yeah, these were. (laughs) They were all supposed to be a joke. Uh, This this podcast was supposed to go out on April 3rd. Yeah. (laughs) So all these are fake. These are all fake-ass posts. Big ass pussy. That's so. I mean, all mine are real. They were posted before, after, uh, whatever the fuck. That's crazy. Yeah, this one, the comments are really funny because they're all like, come on, guys, let's all look at the date. Come on, guys, come on. (laughs) God, that's so fucking funny. I just thought it'd be a fun treat. That would be a fun little treat. Yeah. Why? Okay, man. There are better songs. There are, there better, are songs. better wedding songs. You could have done no, like no, I don't, Book not, of not Love. Even, not even wedding songs. Just better songs. Just in general songs. I mean, I don't know. That's like one of their popular ones. Done I swimming guess. pools by Kendrick <laughs> Lamar. Money trees. Money trees by Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Daddy issues by yeah, Kendrick I was Lamar. Say that We both uh, cry, <laughs> whatever that one is. Yeah, the, um, well, we cry together. We cry together, yeah. 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 Let's do that. Yeah, just, just do that just, one. You know what? Pedal to the metal, dude. Fucking Be that white commit. lady on the, on the stage. <laughs> commit, dog. Commit to it, yeah. Do it. God. Oh, man. Solved it. Solved it. All right, so this next story. This next story coming at you from yeah. Joshua Chinlin. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. 
Am I the asshole? Yep. For Mans- <laughs> Done. Next one. I don't have to do this show. <laughs> okay, all right. Am I the asshole for man spreading <laughs> on a plane? Uh, I don't know. Were your balls sweaty? Knees weak. Arms <laughs> heavy. Mom spaghetti. <laughs> Okay. That, uh, that song starts with my balls were sweaty. <laughs> Something sweaty. I don't think it was balls. I think it's hands sweaty. It's hands are sweaty. That'd be funny. My balls are my sweaty. My balls were sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. For fucking TikTok, I gotta get through this just one time. All right. Okay. All right. You gotta get one good one. One fucking good one for those fuckers that those don't even come freaks. here. Those little freaks on TikTok. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Am I the asshole for man spreading on a plane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A few months ago, I, 26 male, was alone on a long flight, six hours. I had a middle seat between a young woman, 20s female, on the window seat, and a woman, 30s female, on the aisle. I'm tall and am never comfortable on planes. My knees no always dig into the seat in front of the yeah, true, honestly, yeah. Yeah. I'm tall and am never comfortable on planes. My knees always dig into the seat in front, and it can be quite painful. I usually tried to take a walk around the airport before flights to stretch my legs, but neglected to this time. It was Spirit Airlines, so even less leg room than usual. Damn. About half an hour after takeoff, I found my left knee itch- inching to the side of the for the sweet relief of open space. Specifically, the no man's land in between seats, level with the shared armrest. But I wasn't paying attention to my knee at the entire time. I'll concede it's possible that at some point I was occupying space that rightfully belonged to my window seat neighbor. Okay. All was well for two hours. At this point, the woman in the window seat called over the flight attendant. She asked her something like, quote, could you tell him to keep his fucking leg in his own fucking seat? Fucking is censored, by the way. With horror, I understand she was talking about me. I instantly retracted my leg in deep shame. She added something about, quote, his enormous dick. What? <laughs> My understanding was that it was meant to be a snide reference to the idea that spreading your legs is about male genital comfort. But she wasn't speaking very clearly. And the flight attendant, mid 50s female, didn't seem to understand her. The flight attendant asked her some sort of clarifying question, but she didn't answer. And eventually the attendant went away. This is not real. <laughs> <laughs> No woman would be like about your Little enormous dick. Fucking dick yeah. No one ever says enormous dick other than a man. Yeah. <laughs> I've never talked to a girl and that's like got a new boyfriend and be like, how big is his dick? And she goes, enormous. Enormous. Gigantuan. <laughs> we don't have vocabulary really like big. that. <laughs> yeah. Women are smart. When we're talking about dicks, we're dumb. Yeah. We're like, it is real big. <laughs> real big dick. Woo! Yeah. All right. I had been shocked into silence, mm-hmm. but when the flight attendant left, I frantically began to apologize, but she refused to speak to me. She acted like she didn't hear me. Instead, she started furiously texting on her fl- phone. Yeah, texting during a flight. I thought it was weird, too. That's like that's I, like a thing now, though. I thought so, yeah. yeah. I'll see woman said she had some extra space on her side I could use, but then promptly went to sleep. Oh, well. What? I tried again to apologize to window seat woman, but again, she ignored me. I went from embarrassed to confused. I kept replaying it in my head, wondering why she didn't simply ask me to move my knee instead of calling over the attendant. Mm -hmm. I started sneaking peeks at her phone. Oh my God, dude. My defense is that I was baffled by her behavior and wanted answers. (laughs) I'll admit that I was being judgmental too. Here's why. She spent the last three hours of the flight watching TikToks about shaming obese people and texting someone she called Poppy. I didn't see all of it, but a significant portion was definitely about me. She wrote, men really do be too much sometimes with a laughing emoji. She ignored me the rest of the flight and and I ignored her. I got a good but painful workout of whatever muscle it is that keeps your knees together. That's it. That's the end of the story. Okay, hot take. Yeah. If she was really shaming obese people watching content that shamed obese people, she can go fuck herself. <laughs> I don't That's give fair. a shit. That's fair. That I don't fair. give a shit, actually, yeah. if she's in this situation. You need to stop looking at other girls' phones. That is a little weird that That's you're like... That's weird. What you got over there? What are you looking at? What kind of person are you? Yeah, it what kind of matter. person are you? Yeah. I mean, she does seem a little bit like a freak. Like, she should have just told you. Yeah. And if she... I mean, it does... It does add up if she hates fat people. 
Just, yeah, being like... If you were fat and you were spilling over the side, she would be like, fuck it, keep your fatty fat fat <laughs> over here at your, in, on your body fatty. You know, it sounds like she'd be one of those people. Yeah. Like, like why don't you buy two seats then, fatty? Like, literally, like, yeah, and I... <laughs> and it's like, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Is it just, especially on Spirit Airlines, is like, we're all just trying to live. Yeah. <laughs> We're all just trying to. We're all just trying to get somewhere, man. At least the I don't know why you were the lady that was like you could have my, you okay. There should have been more communication all around. You yeah. should have been like, hey, I'm so sorry, my knees hurt. Can I put my knees over here? And when the lady was like, fuck it, shut up, long daddy, long leg, <laughs> with your enormous cock. <laughs> <laughs> you should have asked the other lady. That lady's weird. Can I have some space over by you? And then she would have been like, yeah, okay. <laughs> And then be good with it. Yeah. <laughs> and move on and just recognize that person's crazy. Yeah. Let her text her dumbass friend. Who cares? Yeah. You know, whatever. Yeah. Let her live Pe- her life. People are going to hate you for no reason. Yeah. So anytime, anytime you go out, people hate you for no damn reason. And it sucks. I hate that feeling. And yeah. it makes me want to stay inside and become a hermit. But like, yeah, I get that. Yeah. Straight up. Yeah. <laughs> That's just gonna happen, and people are gonna be mad at you for no for, for no, no nothing. Yeah, the way you look, the way you act, like yeah, it's gonna be fucking. Yeah, it sucks. People are shitty. Yeah, they're. F- I mean, I don't know. Uh, just yeah, it's shitty demand spread, but it's also like just ask. Just yeah, communicate. If a guy was man spreading next to me, and I really needed that space, I'd be like, "Hey, could you not?" And that would be the end of it. Yeah. <laughs> God. And then if he was like, no, my ball, my balls and my enormous <laughs> cock uh, need to breathe. Cock, yeah. I'd be like, I'm going to a different seat then, fucker. <laughs> yeah, I will say it. it uh, yeah, I guess for me, it feels like. It feels fake because feels I can't fake. believe that anyone would do yeah. any of these things. But I, there's the shit of like snooping on a phone. I feel like it's I crazy. Believe. Yeah. That's I think b- both people are crazy. The only person yeah. that's real here is the lady that fell asleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, the the smart person on Spirit Airlines is like I'm, I'm getting an aisle seat so I can put my knees and my whole ass body in the aisle. Yeah, honestly, yeah, that's It'd like be fucking... a hazard if we if we crash. <laughs> honestly, it. yeah, yeah. People don't know about the big seats on Spirit. They see him and then they're like, those scenes aren't real. If you're going, I mean, don't. Actually, the big seats on Spirit are actually the most uncomfortable seats. So no one should ever get them on any flight, especially from Orlando to Massachusetts. Or Orlando uh, in, to Los Angeles. In the middle of May or at any time. You should yeah, not get them. You should them. not do that, no. Actually, the cheaper seats are the more comfortable seats. Yeah, they're actually, yeah. Spirit's yeah. cool like that. They want to tax the rich. <laughs> they do. They really do. They give, yeah. So those are the seats for the like, you know, like podcasters that don't deserve good seats. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it's like, I don't know, fucking, I don't know. I just think like fucking. Everybody's weird. Everybody weird be more normal pilled, yeah. please. Just be normal pilled, yeah. Please? Yeah. Can we all calm the fuck down? I don't know. I feel like. <sighs> How bad? Okay, Josh, manspreading. How badly do you need to manspread? Okay, so we did go on Spirit last it bad, year. I it bet. was but I didn't like. I definitely wasn't like. That was like a three-hour flight. I think actually. Hold on. Okay, because for me, I feel like I need to. I feel like okay. But that's because my legs are fat. I have big fat. I don't legs. know how tall he is. If he's very if tall, if he's very tall, I could probably understand having to go a little bit like wide. Yeah. But I'm willing to bet. Now, yeah, I. It probably. God, it I probably, could. I could believe it. And but uh, yeah, I don't really. He's need getting to... some empathy points from spirit being flying spirit. Yeah, but then also I'm like, stop snooping on people. It's stop not, snooping on people. I think yeah, I think it's to just, like get all up in someone's business. Yeah, it's crazy. God, I don't know. That kind of an <sighs> asshole. Yeah, everyone's I, shitty here. Everyone's shittier. And solved it. Solved it. Uh, don't fly spirit. <laughs> also, don't curse at flight attendants. Yeah, don't do don't that. Be like, He's got a cock on him. I mean, and it, it's just like this poor person that's like, what? Which makes me wonder. I wonder if this guy's just lying about the what the Sir, other person said. Sir, can you remove said. your cock? Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, that's what it seems like for yeah. sure. <laughs> Got a big fat cock. <laughs> this guy is a cock that's too big. It's too big, and it definitely doesn't have herpes. 
<laughs> definitely does not. It's and like it's like the sketch from I think you should leave where it's yeah. Bob Odenkirk like and he I totally, have the two. <laughs> I got two of the nine hundreds. Uh, two of the nine hundreds. Uh, a third one. Tell, right? her, tell, her, tell her. Tell her. I got three. <laughs> It's so funny. God, and my He's model so wife. Funny. My model wife. And I've never been divorced. I've never been divorced. So funny. Bob so Odenkirk funny. is the best. Bob Odenkirk is a national treasure, dude. Mm, yeah. All right. But yeah, that's my that's my second. I don't even know what number I'm on. This is, I'm crumb. That was second, yeah. Am I the asshole for accidentally making a teacher that was bullying my son quit? Wait, well, okay, hold on. Um, Am I the asshole for accidentally making a teacher that was bullying my son quit? quit all right let's see what was it the teacher was like giving him swirlies <laughs> yeah <laughs> pantsing the child pantsing the child in front of everybody sexual predator yeah um i 36 female send my 12 year old son matt to a private school he is a bright boy but he is 12 and coops off <laughs> like most children is age. he's actually a stupid piece of shit because <laughs> he's fucking 12 because i won't get him adhd pills <laughs> sad wow Took all the humor out of it. Thanks, mom. <laughs> Dude, we're so lucky she doesn't watch yeah, us. Yeah, no, okay, sorry, I'm joking. And I'm she's joking. gonna text me and be like, "I watched the most <laughs> recent one. How dare you?" My right. son's English teacher Rachel does not like him and picks on him. She is convinced Matt is a bully for behaving the way most boys his age do. Okay, wait, hold on, wait. Her main issue is that my son supposedly picks on another kid in his class, Bryson. He's not physically touching Bryson at all, so he's not he's not doing anything. Okay. Nothing that could harm Bryson. Then. Yeah, you know, the only, only thing is physical, physical touch yeah. matters. Everyone forgets all the, the other crap up here, you know? Yeah, exactly. Okay. He is not physically touching Bryson at all and only teasing him like pretending he farted in class to make his classmates laugh. It is funny. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is funny to do that. You know, when... Listen, he is a bully, but he's funny. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, is that in the post or you no, say that? Oh, no, okay. I'm saying... Because I was about to say, if that was in the post, I'm like, oh, you're the asshole. <laughs> You're the asshole. The you're asshole. you're you're letting you're enabling this behavior. <laughs> Damn, that's but I read <laughs> pretending he farted and I laughed like the children in class. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, okay. a 37 year old being like, hell yeah, a 25 year old thinks it's fucking funny to pretend that he farted in class. It's just I didn't expect to read farted. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let's get. Okay. We'll come. We'll come. We'll reverse back to that. But okay. Okay. Let's okay. continue. So teasing, like <laughs> he is not physically touching Bryson at all. They're only teasing him, like pretending he farted in class to make his classmates laugh. She is taking away recess privilege from my son almost every week for minor incidents like this. We have met many times, but it goes nowhere because she does not listen to me. She favors Bryson over my son to a concerning degree. Oof. I feel, I'm okay, but like if you're a teacher, I feel like you're going to want to err on the side of not the yeah. kid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Maybe she just loves kids who fart a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it, yeah. Yeah, there we go. We maybe solved she's, it. Maybe she farts too. Um, yeah. Personally, I think she is failing as a teacher by sheltering Bryson to this degree. What? He is okay. Now this gets sad. All right. Okay. All right. He is quote unquote on the spectrum. Ooh. But he goes to school with average kids instead of a special school. Oh, go fuck yourself. If he is always given his way and treated this fragile, then he will grow up to be an irresponsible adult who cannot handle life. Wow, go fuck yourself. Yeah, go fuck yourself. That, speaking of taking all the fun out of it. <laughs> speaking, yeah. God damn. But I am not his parent, so my only real concern is that my son is in a toxic environment with an adult that has it out for him. That's not what? That's not what's happening. I scheduled a meeting with the principal. It went well, and the principal agreed that Rachel was unfairly punishing my son. I asked that Rachel not be allowed to revoke recess privileges for Matt, and that was agreed. But then out of nowhere, Rachel says that she is quitting. I was completely stunned. <laughs> nowhere. I told her I never wanted not I okay. I was completely stunned. I never I fuck me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you got you guys well, yeah, hold on. 
I can just drink that. <laughs> okay. I was completely stunned. I told her I never not wanted her to quit. It was a typo. I want, yeah, because yeah. yeah, that's a double negative, yeah. She told me that she wasn't just leaving the school, but quitting teaching entirely. Word somehow got out, and now whenever I go on campus, other teachers and parents are told, uh, are cold to me because R was a well-liked teacher. I do not think I am to blame because I never wanted or asked for her to leave the school. I only wanted my son to stop being unfairly picked on. Yeah. Yeah, your son's not That's really fucked up. Cool. Yeah. No, your son's picking on an autistic kid. Yeah. That's really messed up. And you're siding on... Your son. Your son. And saying that autistic people need to not be... With us normies, you know, like fucking, yeah, they either yeah. need to be in a special school or not be. Uh, they shouldn't be taught at all. Catered to, yeah, you know, they actually they need to really pull themselves off their boots bootstraps. Yeah, to uh, stop to stop being as autistic as yeah, they are. Yeah, stop it. This is sucks. It this just sucks. Just sucks. Yeah. This is a shitty situation being all around. Ableist, what a terrible yeah. mom. What a terrible person. Terrible people you know, take, make terrible mothers. A lot of a lot of parents really need to realize that their kids can be shitty. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know. And instead of enabling it, you gotta call them out for being shitty. I don't know. I feel like that's yeah, absolutely. That's what that's what causes a well-rounded adult. You don't want fucking Jeffrey Dahmer, you know, no. like fucking. Oh, uh, I learned that I could pick on autistic people, so now I'm gonna go start killing animals, and then I'm gonna go fucking. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Not even like, gonna fucking yeah, I don't even know if that's a. I mean, I get what you mean. You no, don't want yeah. a serial killer by just neglect. You yeah. Know? I don't know, yeah, because I feel like that's neglectful. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not teaching your son to hey, be a good person. Yeah. You you do teach empathy as a teachable thing. Yeah. Nah. I don't know. Yeah. Because I, I feel like this mother already isn't like empathetic. Right. So, of course, yeah. he picks that up and thinks, oh, this kid is different. I'm going to bully him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. God, and it's also like a private school too. I know. It, all that's of it's another, bad vibes. Like, yeah. It's just the vibes are off on this. And like, yeah. Great that the teacher is like, I'm I'm quitting this. I'm not dealing with this. You know, yeah, that's another thing, too. I feel like teachers are already going through so much. Right. She's got like five other parents that probably have to deal with that. Yeah, exactly. Like, come on. She's probably dealing with five other parents just like this. Exactly. Yeah. And like, there's a straw that, and that's why we have such shitty fucking like education systems Mm because of your dumbass. Yeah. Like, fucking being like, I, my kids actually need superior treatment to this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I just like, just stop being such a shitty parent. Yeah. You know? I don't know. God. These people need to be checked more. Yeah. Like the principal did not, should not have agreed. But then also I feel like once you bring money. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh fuck. That's what it is. I'm going to lose one. I'm going to lose a one parent. I'm, gonna lose I'm not going to be able to get my dollars. fucking Bugatti this month. Yeah, exactly. I Bugatti or an autistic child having any self-esteem at all. <laughs> Bugatti. Uh, an autistic child doesn't have a 900 horsepower engine. <laughs> so, <you> gotta go. <laughs> Only one of these goes vroom vroom. Yeah. One of these, one of these, uh, I can, I can pick up hot bitches with. <laughs> I'm a 50 year old. <laughs> I'm about to retire. I've been I'm seeing making so many, good choices. I'm making good choices. I've been seeing so many fucking old people in like expensive I, well, cars that's around what here. Is. It's like, yeah. and it's so sad because like they're driving like shit. Yeah, they're not even driving fast. They're not even enjoying their cars. Yeah, no, they're driving slow like an old person would because it took them that long to get a fast car. Yeah, it's so funny. God, the irony. Irony. Am I the asshole for forcing my daughter to parent? Yeah. I, 45 female, am a wife to 45 male and mother to five boys and two stepsons. I also have one daughter. Ever since my oldest son, 29 male, and his wife, 20 female, moved into a, in a couple months, moved in a couple months ago, my daughter, 15 females, has been very troublesome and seems to have a problem with everything. For example, when my daughter-in-law and oldest son moved back in, daughter had to now share a room which she was unhappy with, and she claims she is treated, quote, unfair and, quote, unequal. A few weeks ago, my daughter-in-law gave birth to her beautiful baby boy. Hmm. Obviously, having a newborn is very stressful for her, so me and my daughter-in-law asked my daughter to start helping with the baby. My daughter was fine with this at first, but then she started to slack off with helping the baby. I told her she needed to step up more, and my daughter got mad at me. 
She claimed that we were making her take care of the baby every day after she came home from school. Oh she God. was the one who had to feed him mostly. She was like a third parent to the baby. And that me and daughter-in-law were forcing her to take care of ba the baby 24-7. This upset my daughter-in-law badly, and I admit I got mad at my daughter, so I did ground her and told her that if she thinks she is a third parent, I will make her one and move her and baby into a room together. Me and daughter-in-law also told her taking care of a baby is good practice because very soon she will have kids of her own. My daughter said she didn't want them, but my daughter-in-law says that it is a phase and that she soon will. I think I really upset her because she just stood there not saying anything and then left. I think I might have gone too far with the lecture, but she was being disrespectful, so I am conflicted. Am I the asshole? There's so many fucked up things happening. It's like a 20-year-old telling a 15-year-old that it's a phase. Is like, you don't, none of you know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, no one knows fucking you're, anything here. A 20 year old is still a baby. Like, you were 19 and pregnant. Yeah, like, Jesus. You're saying to a 15 year old, you're going to be 19 and pregnant. And she's like, I do not want I that. I don't want that. And yeah. Say, It'll be a phase and you're going to get pregnant at 19. You guys are crazy. You guys are fucking crazy. There's yeah. too many children. And also, yeah, like, what, parentification of a 15-year-old? And that's like, I mean, parentification is like the, okay, the fucking definition of parentification, let me look it up, because it's not that. Yeah. That is abuse. <laughs> that's abuse, yeah, but. <laughs> that is, I mean, parentification is abuse as well. Yeah. But it's a different sort of abuse. Hold on. Yeah, because like, like, you're literally like, I don't know, I feel like. You're punishing, I don't know, like, it, it's really, it, it's weird to have the mindset of, like, you're gonna, you're gonna fucking bear children, whether you like it or not, almost. Okay. Uh, parentification, or parent-child role reversal, is the process of role reversal whereby a child or adolescent is obliged to act as a parent to their own parent or sibling. Okay, yeah, so I'm wrong. I am wrong on that. I mean, it kind of, though, because technically she is being a parent to her, like, family member, but specifically, it's in emotional abuse between a parent where, like, a parent will be like, fill my needs, eight-year-old. And then the eight-year-old is like, okay, mother, here are your needs. And therefore, the eight-year-old does not get her needs met. Yeah. And, like, yeah, now this 15-year-old's not getting her needs met. It literally, though, yes. Yeah. By being a teenager, having independence, doing whatever yeah, it is that she needs. Forced to be the parent to... Yeah. The daughter-in-law's baby. Not having a relationship with her mother, you know, whatever. It, 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 you know. And, you know, like, you know, and I really straight, I really didn't realize that age gap in the beginning of, like, 19, and I think it would have been 28. With the, the oldest? Oh! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oops. So, it really, it, it feels like one of those, like, TLC shows, almost, yeah, where it's yeah. like, yeah. It does. And, like, I really... So much, so much crap going on, man. Yeah. It's wild. Fucking, yeah. And, like, someone also pointed out, and I didn't even think about this, where sharing a room had to have, would have had to have been with, like, one of the brothers. Boys, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, I'd be pretty pissed off, you know? Yeah, I mean, if you, I, not just about the gender thing, because whatever, you could probably have your kid... Uh, you know with a whatever but like taking them from a room where they had their entire room and making them share yeah. is is a sucky feeling yeah regardless. it definitely sucks yeah yeah and like i don't know yeah and like yeah like, i don't know like, it should fuck. be i don't know especially kids where they're like not emotionally regulated you know what i mean yeah you take them you put them say you have to go through a sucky situation like i don't know say someone you're going through financial troubles and you have to move to a smaller place yeah and that's fair like yeah it, it, it it's still sucks maybe but... valid in that situation to need to put two children together in a room yeah but you should still be like emotionally available to them for them to vent their frustrations yeah, out for right sure. Instead of just being like, you're being disrespectful, I'm going to lock you in a room with a baby. Yeah. And you're going to fucking parent that baby. Like, Genghis Khan would be like, Jesus Christ. That's a little crazy, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, oh my I feel God. like this breaks the Geneva Convention somehow, <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? This is cruel and unusual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, like, fuck, man. Yeah. Like, I don't know, it's one thing for, like, the 15-year-old to be a babysitter, it's another thing to be a third parent. Yeah, it's yeah. another thing to be, like, okay, w the the mother is just like, okay, great, I get the clock out of being a mom. That's the start of, like, a Casey Anthony, <laughs> like... 
Yeah. Yeah, like the the daughter in law being like, I can finally if she has I can party. Sociopathy, like yeah. in case you did. Um but yeah. And all of this reads Florida to me for some reason. It really so I'm do. like, yeah, I'm like, oh sweet. It's <laughs> nice. gonna be on the news later. This is gonna be on JCS <laughs> yeah. for sure. <laughs> so this is the <laughs> the Oh no! So when this redditor decided to go to Universal to distract the police from investigating <laughs> the missing child, a 15-year-old left an anonymous tip. <laughs> and this is when she brings up Zanny the Nanny, who does not <laughs> exist. Uh, Bro, oh my fucking god, man. We're just gonna let another Casey Anthony happen, well, man. Yeah, it's Florida. Christ. Bro, apparently there were like Nazis or something. I I believe we've seen them with yeah. our own eyes. Yeah, I mean I've seen Nazis before here. Yeah, yeah. At uh, UCF, but they were like apparently they were spotted like waving on a bridge. Just like you know how they are. Yeah, they're like weird protesters. They dress up like not. They have like full Nazi, uh, like regalia, and they just stand around and they just hold up big swastikas and stuff. <laughs> Like a cartoon yeah, character. Yeah, it's very weird. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, I fucking hate the states so much. Me too. I want to leave. Uh, <sighs> all right, that was my Reddit. Am I the asshole for kicking out my daughter after she went behind my back? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I can't sleep, and this is the reason. I, thirty-nine male, kicked my daughter, sixteen female, out of my house after she disobeyed my rules. Just a quick backstory: me and my daughter never really had a good relationship. She often kept secrets from me when she was a kid. And I gotta Wonder know why. all her little kid secrets. Yeah. Um, I would only see her twice a month and we fought like cats and dogs. And she often lied to not only me, but her mother in middle school. Wow. Lying. Crazy. That's crazy. I wouldn't be able to handle it. A lying child? Yeah. Huh. God forbid. God forbid. A year ago, I got custody over her and her little brother. She had wonderful grades throughout the year and she was given the opportunity to be in an honors class and I pushed her into taking the class. She didn't want to do it and she basically begged me not to take the class because she didn't think she could do it, but I believed in her and signed her up for it. Piss off. Oh my god. <laughs> Ridiculous. She's literally telling you I don't think I can handle it. So we're like, in yeah. the fucking around part. Yeah. We're going to start finding out soon. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Throughout this year, she has gotten grade 70 and lower because she is not putting in any effort. Yeah, that's the reason, yeah. Yep, she would come home, study for no more than 30 minutes, play on her phone or Xbox, eat, and then go to sleep. How dare she eat? Yeah, why are you, yeah, why are you, putting, why are you putting eating on there? Yeah, She's wait. She's playing and eating? She's trying That's to relax. That's not okay. That's, yeah. She should be studying. You probably stressed her out with the honors class, yeah. Yeah. Back Jesus. in February, I decided to get her permit, and she had been getting ready to go for the test when I got an email from her teacher telling me her grade was a 62%. I got pissed, and as soon as she got out of the shower, we had a yelling match. Cool. I asked her why her grade was so low, and she used the excuse she had a lot going on and that she was trying. I sent her back to her room and stripped away all entertainment and electronics until she was done with all of her schoolwork. Even after two weeks, her grade never went up. Still, she had nothing. She would just stay in her rook, even after finishing her work, and just sleep. I, it sounds like you gotta go back to school I excused yeah. her behavior at first For a breakup she was going through And bullying but even after no improvement I set up a meeting with her teacher And my ex-wife her mother After talking we decided tutoring Was for the best option My daughter left the meeting crying And even after school remained mad at me We got into another argument After she gave me attitude She went with her mom that weekend And did get the grade up to 75% But I still wanted her to take the tutoring I got an email from her principal saying she had skipped her first session and wanted to drop out of tutoring. I text my daughter that she was the child and I was the adult. Uh. And she does not get to make the decision for dropping out. She texts me back telling me she went to her teacher to study for her test. That's why she skipped. Again, she was making excuses for not succeeding. She literally went to the teacher though. That's... She's trying. She did get the issue fixed, but I was still mad when she got home. So I told her to leave. She ended up getting her mom to pick her up and created a sob story where she was the victim. 
I'm now getting angry texts from her mother and grandmother about how I'm an asshole, but I just want what's best for my baby girl. So am I the asshole? Yes. Uh, I just want to check the ages. I so I'm the the adult. Yeah. She's the child. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. She's somehow making. She's able to make up a sob story where she's the victim and she is 16 years old. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. What a she's manipulative. She's so manipulative. Yeah. Go fuck yourself, man. Jesus. No one else has a problem like this with their teenagers because they're better parents. Yeah. You could have listened to your, yo, know, straight up. You created this shit. Yeah, straight up, like, almost no difference. You did not have to do an honors class. It's not going to matter in fucking 10 years. Not once did he just sit and, like, ask his daughter what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> like, even my mom did that. Yeah, and she was a fucking bitch. Like you know, like shit. Even my mom was like, "What's up? What's going on?" Yeah, and but then like, she would do this shit that he still, did. Yeah, but like, know? still, you don't even have the audacity to ask to pretend. Like, yeah, just you pretend give a like shit. you care about your daughter. Yeah, and just care about her grades. I guess like ridiculous. Yeah, like yeah, you literally caused her to have failing grades. Because mm-hmm. yeah, you gave her more fucking work. Believe she it or was, not, teens want to chill. Yeah, they want to fucking chill. They should yeah. be allowed to chill. They should be able to do 30 minutes of homework and then play video games and eat. And eat. And then go to sleep. Yeah. yeah. I think that's fair. I think that's more than fine. If it's taking more than 30 minutes, that's too much homework. Yeah. That's a lot of homework. That's a lot of fucking homework. Especially for like a 16 year old. Yeah, in high school, come on. I mean, in college, yeah, you're going to be Yeah, doing... you're going to do like hour, two hour long homework. But yeah. that's also because the coursework... Is, requires it yeah. yeah it's a different level and it's also like completely different it's not you're not doing it every day you know what i mean yeah exactly like jesus i don't know, I don't know. yeah i like straight up man like well you're i mean your children are individuals as soon as you poop them out yeah you have to acknowledge that but yeah you're not gonna you can't just control who they are for the rest of their life. You can't hide behind the, like, you want what's best, you know, forever. Because like, no, you don't. Because you're upset that she's eating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she's drinking water, breathing oxygen. This fucking bitch is is breathing instead of studying. I don't know, this fucking, like, like you're almost hustle culturing your fucking daughter into, like... Yes. You know. Yeah. And burning her out. Like, yeah, she's gonna want to go on her fucking phone. I don't know. Yeah, if you put too much work on someone, they're not gonna do it and they're gonna fail. And, and um, they're gonna want to distract themselves. Teenagers, yes, they're on their phones too much, and they but, want to play Xbox way too much. And they, and they eat they do hot need chip, to, and they lie. They do. They go to they eat McDonald's. <sighs> I get it. I understand that. Yeah, but also like, there's a point where it's not laziness. And it's, if she's trying, she's trying. She's trying. Yeah. You just have to meet her where she's at. Yeah, exactly. And it might be that she could do this if she fucking broke her back and did it. But then she's breaking her back. You don't want that. Yeah. And she doesn't want that. And that's what she's trying to tell you. Yeah, exactly. Jesus, man. I don't know. Yeah, you're just just asking for a daughter that's not going to talk to you. My mother would not pick me up after school. Um, she was like, either you walk a mile home from school or you wait at school until I'm done with work at 7 PM to come pick you up. And, um, and then would get mad at me if I stayed at school until seven. If she was like, I'm not going to come pick you up. She just, just, it it was a complete, it was fucking crazy. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Just a a memory blast, brain blast from the (laughs) past. Um, So I started going to after school tutoring, which was like this thing that my school did where like any class, they just had like a couple teachers who wanted to stay after school to help kids. Yeah. So I just started fucking going, even though I didn't need it. Yeah. I just did all my homework at school after class until like nine. Yeah. And my mom would come pick me up, which, yeah, neglect. Yeah. Uh, Neglect. Yeah. Big red sign teachers. We're staying at school until 9 p.m. Big red sign that yeah, neglect might be is a happening. Bit of a fucking problem, yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so then I would do that. And every single kid that went to tutoring, not one kid was like, man, fuck this shit. Yeah. Every single one was like, I want to know to what know it this, is. Yeah. And I don't fucking get it. And it's frustrating. Yeah. And they would really, really try, and mm. it, and it, it's you know, tutoring is great because yeah. it really was a great environment to like yeah. learn this shit. 
But like, I don't know. I feel like if it's not your fit, then I understand. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like for the daughter. I don't know. Like you're, you're really, and this is like the real tragedy is like, you're creating a, you're, you're making your daughter not appreciate learning and dislike it. Yeah. And that's the real, like, and you, you cause you did a bang up job as a parent, you know, like yeah. you, you did such a good job that your daughter's going to be a, like, like she's not going to want to do things. And, you know, maybe she wants to do something else with her life and not just be like, you know, not be in college for the rest of her life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe she wants to do something and that's fine. But mm. she should it's still like come out of school with like an appreciation for what she's learned, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it's not like on her if she does it. It means everyone else has failed her. You know what I mean? Yeah. God. That's like a pretty widely accepted fact. Yeah. Exactly. Among at least educators, but no one listens to them, huh? Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them. Fuck those educators. Yeah, you what know. What do they know? Yeah. Pay them less. No wonder why they're fucking quitting. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. I'd fucking quit too, man. Me too. Ridiculous. Yeah, what an asshole. Yeah, what a dick. Solved it, though. All right. So, the title for this one, I'm not the devil, is I really hope this is fake. Hmm. That's for most of them. I feel like I'm <laughs> yeah. the devil. My parents, 48 female, 51 male, say my 23 female relationship with my boyfriend, 39 male, is bad. Okay, wait, say that again. Why did you do this to me? I'm sorry. What the fuck, <laughs> I, man? I forgot I did this one. I'm sorry. Oh I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry. So We're going to get roasted. My parents, 48 female, 51 male, Says my 23 female relationship with my boyfriend, 39 male, is bad. All right, you know what? Age gap is fine. She's 23. Okay, all right. She's an adult. She can date a 39 year old. It's okay. I'm going to say that right now so TikTok can shut the fuck up. <laughs> right for this first sentence. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Am I going to eat my words? Okay, so. So two months ago, <coughs> sorry, I'm just realizing what I've, I've done to us. I'm sorry. Mm. So two months ago, I met a guy at the mall. Let's call him Mark, 39 male. He was really nice and funny, and we had a fun talk, and we exchanged numbers. I liked him a lot, so when I got home, I asked Mark if he wanted to hang out again tomorrow, and he said sure. The next day, we go on, I guess, a nature walk and started to get to know each other more, he then wrapped his arm around me and it felt super sweet. We then went to McDonald's for lunch and later when it was time to pick up my son, who we'll call Jacob from preschool, I asked him if he wanted to come with me. He said yes. I could see Mark as a good father figure for Jacob. Oh my god, so, so fast. I, so I thought this was a good opportunity for Jacob and Mark to bond with each other. Mark and I quickly became a couple about a week later, and we decided that Mark was going to move into my place because it was easier that way. Okay, you're f okay, shit. I told my parents about this, but when I had re revealed his age, they were kind of shocked at first, but still okay with it as long as I was happy with... As I, sorry, they didn't put any punctuation. Oh, cool. But still okay with it as long as I was happy. When they met him, they thought he was a nice guy. However, my little brother thought it was creepy and was very open about it. But these past few weeks, Mark hasn't been acting like the guy I thought he would be. He's kind of lazy, and whenever he tries to help, he messes up, and I guess plays it as a joke. He can barely do laundry, and I'm worried Jacob will rub off on him. I know Mark tries his best, but, it's still, but it still kind of sucks. I decided to tell my parents about this, and they said that they love me, but I should have never dated a guy almost 17 years older than me in the first place. His 40th birthday is in a few days. He only loves me because I let him get away with his bullshit. They said that they will respect whatever I do, but there's plenty of fish, uh, plenty of men my age that would do a lot better than Mark. Deep down, I know they are right, but I'll feel bad leaving him so close to his birthday. And Jacob likes him a lot and calls him dad, so it would not only hurt Mark, but it but it would hurt Jacob a lot as well because him and Mark are, have a father son bond. Okay, that's it. Devil's advocate. Okay. <laughs> I'm playing the devil's advocate on this one. All right. So this is yeah. your, your TikTok commenter right now. I'm just, I'm Sarah. Okay. This Sarah. is what I believe, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I believe, guys. Okay. This right. is totally okay. okay. <laughs> She's an adult. 
She makes her own damn decisions. She decided this <sighs> shit. She was like, yep, yeah, have my baby. Go ahead. Here he is. You can take him. He's yours now. Fuck it. Why not? <sighs> you know, Josh, you know, Josh, my parents. Yeah. They were, they had a 30 year age gap and they were together for 600 years. <laughs> and they're so happy right now. So why are you judging Mr. Judgy Pants? Wait, hold on a second. Hold on. Wait, you know what? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm calling everybody on TikTok to come into the comments and tell me their personal anecdotes about people, their cousin, their dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Their yeah. cousins, their dogs, <laughs> their principals, love interests, their best <laughs> friends, cousins, dads. I want you to tell me every anecdote of somebody who is at least 10 year age gap, how long they've been, how happy they are, and how that's what you want personally. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. I want everyone to band together and raid the comments. <laughs> Tell me that that's what you think. This episode, and that's my advice. This Fucking episode. solved it. <laughs> I'm not high fiving you. Yeah. No, I'm not high fiving you. You don't think it's At true what all. I'm saying? It's perfectly okay. Uh, you know, I think what you're saying is true to someone. <laughs> Josh, you're acting like this is a big deal. <laughs> Everybody knows that TikTokers get all all upset when um when a twenty three year old and a twenty four year old date because they say you have to be born on the exact same, <laughs> same day, day yeah to have yeah, a relationship that's, a, that's, a, that's yeah that's actually really or nice. else it's an age it's a toxic age gap relationship you know crazy you you everyone knows that you um are completely you can't be manipulated after you turn 18 you know it's a it's legally a, it's if a, you're a legal adult you can't be manipulated you know, anymore it's a, it's actually a bell curve for how good it is so it's same age yeah uh, 30 years older than you and then like 60 100 years, years older, older than it's too you? much well because they're dead <laughs> yeah they're dead <laughs> that's why you can't so dance because then you'd be a necrophiliac <laughs> yeah and, and you should that's go to jail bad. And that's bad <laughs> But only if it's 30 plus. Because it's against the law. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. Can I, can I say what the first comment is on the Am I the Devil post? What? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. And that's how I feel right now. After <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna call us, uh, what was it, condescending again? <laughs> oh man, that's funny. I don't give a shit. I, now, if somebody comes to me and says, yeah, my husband, he's 20 years older than me, and we're having problems, I'm just gonna tune them out in my brain. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, I don't care. You know what? Yeah, you made that own damn. You're that's, right. That is you are an adult and you made that decision. That means I don't have to fucking coddle your ass. Christ. You're so right, actually. You are an adult. You made that decision. Yeah. So now you gotta fucking live with it, actually. There you go. <laughs> Not a fan. Uh, <laughs> no, I love it. I think it's great. I think it's super cool. I think women, um, you know. Everyone knows it's like you know you're born when you have when you birth a baby girl yeah from like zero to three it's a baby right yeah <laughs> and then like from three to like fourteen it's a girl and then from fourteen until eighteen it's a woman yeah that's what Matt Walsh told me yeah yeah that's, that's what, what a woman is yeah. fourteen to eighteen fourteen to eighteen that's what the definition of a woman is fourteen and then to eighteen 19 plus old fucking hat. <laughs> Who fucking makes her own damn decision yeah. and needs to live by the consequences. <laughs> Nothing illegal can happen to you after you're 18. <laughs> and that's our show. No, it isn't. We people, saw another one. Are but... you people in the comments who quote me, who say stuff like, can you just quote that entire thing? <laughs>
and so that when I die, Josh can get like a big fucking tombstone and put all that on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it assumes I die before you too, which is funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I gotta live with your fucking death. Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll be the last burden I put upon you. <laughs> What you know? You don't mean the burden of editing this? But I'm just gonna put a big censor bar <laughs> for everything you just beep, said. Beep. And like over my sens- mouth, so no one can read my lips. Yeah, and yeah. that's gonna be a freeze frame of me going. <laughs> Soy Jack. Yeah. Okay. I gotta go pee. You're making me piss. Christ! You fucking. You come into well, this what? office. I'm gonna say the same damn thing that I've been saying the past thirty fucking times. We get this fucking thing. And everybody in the comments are gonna flame me. Like yeah, I give a shit. God, fuck them. Uh, solved it. Solved it. We did. That we, was a, yeah. That, we did, we solved, solved, we that did solve it. We. I think we figured it out. <laughs> we did. Okay. All right. Um. Everyone, because Josh isn't gonna get this. He might get it. But everyone, I want you to guess what TV show this is from. Okay. okay. And uh, uh, write in a comment down below. Yeah. And boost engagement. Yeah. It'll Am- be the Q and A for Spotify. Yeah. Guess the episode from Story Nine and say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. Yeah. Am I the asshole for sending away my daughter's date after he honked instead of coming up to the door to pick her up? Is this actually from a TV show? There, this did happen in a TV show. How about your mother? No. Damn it. <laughs> my daughter is 17 and was having a date last week. I already had him meet me and I loosely know his parents, so he seemed nice enough. He was going to pick her up to see a movie. It all seemed fine until he showed up. I expected him to be respectful and come to the door and knock. Instead, I hear a horn and see him parked in the driveway. I don't stand for that kind of disrespectful behavior, especially towards my daughter. I told her to stay put. Now, uh, that's the point where that's what happened in the TV show. Everything else is wild and goes off the rails. Okay. I told her to stay put and went out there to have a word with him. I made it very clear the date wasn't happening tonight. He needs to learn to treat my daughter with respect if he wants to be with her. He tried to get out, but I stopped him and wasn't quiet about it. I'm also 6'1", and he's barely five <laughs> Whoa, wait. feet, so I might have startled him. I told him to get out of here, apologize to my daughter, and not to show himself on my property again unless he wants a quote-unquote disagreement. Whoa. <laughs> he left without another word. Once I went inside, I just told my daughter her date was canceled, and then she asked why I said to ask him. Make sh- Sure enough, 10 minutes later, he texts her, but not with an apology. He called me a fucking lunatic and said I scared the shit out of him. My daughter went off at me for scaring away a boy she really likes and called me controlling. I grounded her for giving me that kind of talk and made it clear he's never welcome at my house again after talking to me like that. If she wants to see him after her grounding is over in six weeks, <laughs> what? do it somewhere else. When my wife got back from work in the morning, she sided with our daughter because I'm fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She said that while that what he did was rude, they're both still young and learning and that what? I probably did scare him. Uh, she ungrounded our daughter without my <laughs> say so. And now everything at home is tense. Oh, uh, really? Huh? Yeah. I didn't. That was well, surprise. weird. Sucks that it's everyone else's fault, but yours. You yeah, know? It's everyone else's fault, but mine. Interesting. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. So, you know, it's it, this is it's, like the airplane thing where it's like, yeah, okay, I get the initial reaction, but why did you go fucking crazy, crazy about yeah. it? So, okay, yeah, and I, like part of me was like, I can understand why some people might not like honking. Yeah, but I'm I get also it. like, if it's like the first time you're meeting your boyfriend, and you want to do first a good fucking impression. Time. Yeah, like yeah. But don't but, like go and physically threaten him. Maybe grabbing, don't, the, grab, grabbing the baseball bat and just like, <laughs> hey, you fucking honk in my neighborhood. I don't know why I thought, but like your dad is Bruce Banner. Yeah. And he's like, hold on, I got this. Oh, and he I goes outside, turns <laughs> into the Hulk, yeah. and flips <laughs> the <laughs> car over. It'd like, be so like, in funny. The, like in the fucking original intro where yeah. it's like in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like a big fucking explo- yeah. yeah god that would be awesome that'd be amazing you just like killed a, a child yeah <laughs> i just i just want to talk to him i just, just want to talk, talk to, him. to him i just want to talk to him <laughs> i just want to shoot him i just i just want to talk to him 
God, yeah, uh, what an overreaction. Well, yeah, you're fucking insane. Yeah. And then six weeks, is that just six like a weeks. number you pulled out of your ass? What yes. did she do but be upset at you? A month and a half. For threatening a child. That's a child. Yeah. You shouldn't fucking go to jail for six weeks. Yeah, you should go to <laughs> yeah, jail you for go six, to weeks. six weeks. Christ, yeah, I would also unground my daughter without your permission. <laughs> yeah, if I came home and you were like, yeah, I fucking threatened a child and grounded her daughter for six weeks because he honked. Yeah. I so would what's be like, for dinner? <laughs> Divorce papers would be what's yeah. for dinner. Yeah. Um, You're insane. <laughs> I'm going to go live in a Motel 6. Yeah, I'm going to figure this out. Yeah. yeah. Um, You just <sighs> you ruined just, my life. Yeah. Cool. By being crazy. Uh, being like yeah he's five feet like also like i'm just like, six one uh, and he's five foot so he's obviously scared of me like like well because yeah, you opened the door yeah. and like howard over him yeah ridiculous man I, it's crazy how many people are like <laughs> i don't know why i thought of this but when we went to go pick up jack Oh yeah! How um our friend was like, I don't know why he's so scared, and I'm like, because you're tall, and yeah, he's tall. like this big. Yeah, like he's <laughs> everyone like hidden. is imposing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why people don't they understand can't that. Understand yeah. that when you're smaller than something else, it's scary. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Bryce, man. Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. Yeah. God, <laughs> fucking crazy. Solved it though. Solved it. Solved it. <laughs> fucking ridiculous god oh wow oh wow oh wow oh wow okay so i'm gonna say the am i the devil title before okay okay so i hate my sister's boyfriend because he's nice question mark question mark question mark oh, weird i think i saw this one but i didn't yeah. do it am i the asshole mm -hmm. oh this is deleted sweet hell yeah Am I the asshole for making my sister's, quote, perfect boyfriend leave my parents' house? Fake names. Yeah, obviously. We know. Come on. It's in our first rodeo. Yeah, cool. Cater to We're me. Profesh. <laughs> All right. My 33 female, sister Kate, 38 female, has been seeing Dave, 40 male, for three or four years now. Say the ages again. 33 female, sis. Uh, my 33 female, Sister Kate, 38 female, oh. has now been seeing Dave, 40 male. Okay. 40-ish male, apparently, yeah. yeah. Unknown. Age cap. <laughs> I don't know why I expect it to be, like, teens. Yeah, I get you. Well, yeah. maybe. Well, I mean, not maybe, but, like, they're gonna act there like There might teens. be teens on the inside? Yeah. In a, in a trench coat? Yeah. <laughs> Three teens in a trench coat, yeah. yeah. Um, Their ages add up. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. They met during COVID, so we never really spent much time with him, so it feels like less. She never really seems to have gotten out of the honeymoon phase, because she never shuts up about him. Oh. None of it is particularly impressive. It's just normal stuff. <laughs> he owns his home, own house, he drives a nice car, her kids like him, it's all so basic. That's, a, that's amazing! <laughs> my dad and I used to bond over making fun of him. He works an IT job from home, and my dad always thinks office workers are soft. He... Over time, Dave has sucked up to my dad. He built dad a barbecue kit and set up cameras around his house. He did a few home repairs for my parents' house, and now my dad treats him like the son he never had. Aww. They go fishing together, which my dad has never shown any interest in before. My husband has gone a few times, and he says he always feels like a third wheel, even though my dad has known him since high school. Wow. The incident happened the other day. My daughter, six-month-old, has been going through a fussy phase. Mm. She just cries constantly and won't sleep for more than an hour. My family were having a party and I asked my mother to take the baby because I just wanted a break from the crying three inches from my ear and lie down. I ended up sleeping for four hours and came down to find goddamn Dave holding my baby. I quickly took my baby back in to feed her and she started crying again after the bottle finished. Mm -hmm. My mom said to give her to Dave because he was able to soothe her last the last time. I said no, I don't want someone who wasn't family holding her. My mom tried to argue, but it's my choice, and I didn't want him anywhere near her. You're my mom a, must. I can't say <laughs> you can't word. say it. You can't say it. We're gonna get fucking demonetized. God damn it! I, my mom tried to argue, but it's my choice, and I didn't want him anywhere near her. That's my mom crazy. must. My mom must have said something to Kate because they left <laughs> soon after, and Kate was glaring at me. Most of my family thinks that I'm the asshole, even though I didn't actually ask them to leave. I think I was perfectly in my rights to not want him to hold my baby. Yes. Why would you say 
say that. You're so funny, man. Yo, the next time that your mom gets too drunk, yeah, <laughs> and like says some crazy shit, I'm gonna be like, well, I guess I'm not family. <laughs> like, I'm gonna say that shit. It's such a crazy thing to say in general to anyone. What the fuck? That's so crazy. <laughs> That's so crazy. Well, wow, what an. I guess I'm not family. <laughs> not family. I guess. Oh man, I don't God, know. I think that'd be funny. That's such a fucking that's wild. So, I don't want anyone's not family. It's just so shitty and bitchy. Yeah. Shut my up. God. What did What did Dave do to you? He's just perfect. He's just a nice guy. He's apparently. just the yeah. perfect man. Uh <laughs> What is is it? it so was it a, a male or a female who who I think it was a female. A female? Uh, 33 female, I think. Hold okay. on. Let me double check. Let's see. Let's fi- let's figure this out. 33 why, female. Yeah, then why would you be so catty about some dude that your sister's dating or it's fucking married weird. with? I don't, I don't know. know. You got a weird thing. It's, it's really weird. weird. Yeah, like I don't know, like <laughs> I don't know, like fuck, man. It's just so out of left field. Yeah. yeah. Also, like, fuck you for saying IT shit is like soft. Yeah. I don't know. Yes, yeah, suck my it's ass. It's really like weird. And then, but then also, like, this guy clearly isn't soft because he knows how to make a fucking barbecue pit and also install cameras and repair calm shit. A child and calm a child. Yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah. He's just trying, man. It's really one of those things where, like, it feels like no matter what you do, someone's just gonna hate you. Yeah. No, literally. And that you're just the hater. You're just a piece you're just of shit a hater. fucking. Yeah, you're just, <laughs> you're just a, a hater. You're just a fucking hater. You're dude. just a fucking hater, dog. But yeah, like literally, like he's just trying, man. He's just being a guy. Dude, and you see succeeding. him holding your baby, and you're like, I'm gonna fucking kill him. Which I mean. Yeah, okay, so you don't want him holding your baby. Why would you say, I don't want anyone who's not family, not family. holding my baby? Yeah. It's so shitty. Yeah. <laughs> Just say, I don't want Dave holding my baby. Yeah. That's all you had to say. It was, oh, sorry, or I just want to hold my baby. Yeah. But that's you can it. hide your hatefulness, you know? Yeah, you don't have to you be have to such be a so... bitch about it. <laughs> you don't have to be so open about it. Yeah, you know? that's the funniest some thing people, to me. Some people have shame. Yeah, some, some people, people are haters it. in secret. Yeah. You know, you gotta know when to show your. Some I'm people, a hater. Yeah, I'm a hater too. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta know gotta when to do it. it. Yeah. yeah, you gotta know when to hold them. And know when, know to, when to fold them. them. Know when to walk away. And know when to walk away. Know when to hold them. Know when to walk away. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Yeah, I don't but know yeah. the song. Do you I know, know the song? song? Either, no, yeah. not neither of us can do the song. <laughs> That's funny. I think it goes creeper. Oh man. So we back in the mines. I don't have any. any don't you're just a bitch. And I keep bitch. wanting to say the word that is apparently the same as the N word. Uh, to YouTube, if I say the C word, it's apparently on the same it's level. On the same spe- yeah, it's on um, the same spectrum. I keep yeah. wanting to say the C word, but I can't. Yeah, cancer. Yeah. But I feel like it's worse. You're like a cancer on the earth. I feel like that's Yeah, but you gotta get creative. It's just I you're just a grade A bitch. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You're just a you're just a bitch. God fucking solved it though. <sighs> solved it. So funny, so funny that you need sleep so bad and then you sleep for four hours and you wake up and you're like, that guy's not family. <laughs> <laughs> really funny like you get some finally some nice rest and you wake up refreshed and immediately it's out the window this is dave this podcast is teaching me ways to be messy at our next family i'm just gonna start using these christ (laughs) so funny man the next time your mom is like uh hey do you want like way too much food for your tiny apartment fridge i'm gonna be like no She's going to be like, are you sure? I'm going to be like, I'm not family, I guess. <laughs> if you don't listen to me. I'm just going to manipulate your mother into fucking listening to me yikes. and my boundaries. Hashtag yikes. Hashtag yikes. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I really, I'm sorry. Yeah, I have a tortilla. I have a tortilla. It's okay. Um, I'm sorry. And that's our show, I think. Yeah, the show, the that was five stories from each of us, right? Yep. Sweet. We did it. Hell yeah, we did it. Solved it. Easy. Easy, yeah. Easy one. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. easy. Funny moments, this one. Some pretty funny moments. Some chaotic. <laughs> some hashtag funny epic moment highlight <laughs> from Twitch stream yeah. at number fifty-five. Uh, yeah, Sarah, what do you want to plug? Um, you can follow me on Twitter 
at that's so herein t-h-a-t-s-o-h-e-e-r-o-n you can also follow me by that same name as i almost did that <laughs> yeah, well, you almost uncapped the whole fucking thing yeah. Jesus. you can also follow me on tumblr tiktok instagram all pretty much everywhere if Ooh. i'm just just type that in if i'm not there i'm not on it yeah i feel that I'm um, Joshua Chinland on Twitter, a guy nicknamed JC on Twitch. I'm going to try getting back into streaming. That's a lot. That's a lot of fucking sauce, bro. Um, you can follow the podcast on APWSTR on TikTok. Uh, podcast with on Instagram. Uh, APWSTR Productions on YouTube. Podcast with Relationship on all podcasting platforms. Do not forget to raise five stars mm-hmm. on Apple and Spotify. Buy Me Coffee and Patreon are both those websites. Forward slash APWSTR if you want to support the podcast financially. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit the gosh darn bell if you're on YouTube. And... Just enjoy, man. Enjoy. Share it. Share this podcast with Enjoy your life. Go out there. Touch some grass. Yeah, touch some grass. Touch grass, touch audience. Touch grass. Enjoy life. And right. remember, Dave's not family. <laughs> Dave is not family. Dave is not family. I don't want anyone who's not family touching Dave. my baby. <laughs> Fuck you, Dave. <laughs> and that's our show. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What's the title of this one going to be? Um, uh, <laughs> What's the title? Tell me. Can you do it? Uh, the Ten Condiments? The Ten Condiments? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Commandments, I think is what it was. No, condiments because of the sriracha. The Ten Condiments. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. That actually, that works. Yeah. It's cute. Yeah. The Ten Commandment. Number one, Josh Funny. <laughs> Number one, Josh is funny. Josh is funny. <laughs> Sarah two. Sarah. Yeah. Sarah two. Two. Sarah two. <laughs> two. Sarah two. Yeah. Yeah. Three. No yeah. age gaps. <laughs> <laughs> and four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten are all just uh, no age gaps. Yeah, exactly.